Hi guys, it's Just Jean here with Big Man News. I'm no bread. And this is Meet Us After 7. Welcome back to Meet Us After 7. This is episode 221. Come on, somebody. And it is, what's the date today? 19th. It is the 20th of January. Oh, shame. It is the 20th, isn't it? Indeed. 2021. Mm-hmm. We are back for another weekly installment. Oh, yeah, Gina. So, I'm in a family, you know? The what? I'm in the fam now. What? The Viking fam? No, not the Viking fam. What fam? Your fam. It's official. What did my mum do? The fit. The fact that you knew already is What did my mum do, please? Because... I'm in the fam now. Do you know what it is? Because it... Nah. nah. Talk to me, because I I don't know. Respects. Respects. Yeah. I'm in the fam now. Well, what happened? I've been... I had my... uh, Inaugurations. Oh, is it? Inaugurations. Swear down. I was like... At first, I was like, what? Wait, what? What's going on? I hope it's not that serious. Okay, let me just... All right, Are so, you joking? So basically, yeah. Yeah, chat to Obviously, me. Arnie's listening. Arnie, yeah. I'm just trying to uh, dramatise mm. for the entertainment. 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 Yeah. You know what I mean? So, woke up this morning, obviously. Woke up this morning. Gotta thank God. Because today seems kind of odd. What song is this? Like <laughs> freestyling? <laughs> no, that's ice cream. <laughs> wow, okay. It was a good day. So, no, no. Woke up this morning now. Obviously, just doing my due diligence and that, innit? Man saw a text. Hey, call me on number and that. Hey! Reduce. I said, yo. But I was in a session mm-hmm. with the clients. Mm-hmm. I couldn't really call that. You're so in the hour that I'm doing the sessions, mm-hmm. I'm like, right, I hope it ain't nothing serious. Hope nothing wrong mm-hmm. with Gina. I hope everything's copper stacks. Mm-hmm. I mean, I hope nothing emerges. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. No, you're annoying. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just like, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I hit, I hit Auntie back about an hour and so later. I say, hello, Auntie. Okay, I will call you now. Mm-hmm. Get me. Copy and paste from the DMs, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Obviously saved it on my phone. Now she's cheeky because she's expecting today. She did not mention anything. Saved it, obviously, out of respect. Saved it as Gina's mum. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm trying to say? Let me show you evidence. So as you can see here, what's the top call? Gina's mum. Gina's mum, you get me? Mm. I hit auntie. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Wow. Ring, ring. I said, hello, auntie, it's Yusuf. She said, hey, Yus. I was like, oh, Yus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. Uh, in. Recognize. Recognize, isn't it? Yeah. You get me? I'm going to get into what we spoke about because I don't know if she wants that to be on a pod. No? Okay. We talk about off any. Okay, cool. But we had a little chat. It didn't last long. Mm. Because she needs to go and get some information mm-hmm. and come back to me. No. Are you joking? No, I'm serious. No, I'm livid because she fully called me earlier. Yeah. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Oh, I haven't heard from you today. Yeah. Oh, when are you coming? I'm coming tomorrow. Okay, when you come, bring this. I said, okay, cool. That was it. Yeah, obviously. Then. These times she's having full blown coffee. Yeah, and even I was like, the right, the voice is sweet, isn't it? I was thinking, rah. Oh, Rose eyes. Angelic. I mean, You're but, bad, so yeah, so she's going to call me back once she gets Where some more info. And then we're gonna, you know what I mean? I hear that. Chop up some more and, right, cool. you know what I mean? Family things. I hear that. Well, welcome to the fam. I'm in there. I guess. In there. You get me? Yeah. But yeah, that's my little story. Um, so yeah, let's get straight to the meat and potatoes, shall we? Come on. All right. Oh, hold on. Are you thinking about, what are you thinking I'm about? I was thinking about Vikings. No, not Vikings. But <laughs> <laughs> we'll, get to, we'll get to Vikings. So, <sighs> me and Gina. Fam, no, 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 I even forgot. Oh, you you forgot? know what? I think I'm still suffering, you know. Fam, the heartburn that I've been dealing with over the past three days, yeah? Yeah. And I was like, oh, is it teriyaki sauce or something? Like, no, honestly, I said to Sad, I was like, oh, something's wrong. Because you see inside, yeah? Yeah. It's not how it used to be. Yeah. Like, the gas is peak. Oh, is it? The, yeah, the heartburn. I'm just not feeling one hunter. Yeah. And he was like, you think? I think it's because of whatever. Yeah. And I thought, oh, maybe because nothing I'm eating yeah. this week. Yeah. Is it's not something that it's not stuff I haven't eaten before or yeah, haven't yeah. eaten before. So, yeah. but it's making me feel really shit. Okay, for me, it's more the PTSD. Oh, is it? Like just thinking about it. Like for example, Brent sent me the 
preview clip I sent you. You sent yeah. that two, three days ago. You can watch it. I didn't watch it. I hear that. <laughs> I you, know what's, you know what's worse? You know, obviously, I still got the sauce. Out yeah. Of it, right? I smell it. Yeah. And if I'm honest, I don't think I can eat battered prawns for a very long time. <laughs> Because when I smell it, we suffer though. When I smell it, it yeah. reminded me of that meal, yeah. and the smell of the sauce makes me sick. Yeah, like physically makes me sick. It doesn't bang. Nah, we suffer, guys. You lot do not. Fan. All right, cool. So let's, ba- let's... all right. So basically, yeah. I'm so annoyed. I didn't, I didn't record our phone conversations because <sighs> that would send people right now. For Patreon, we done. I don't even know what to call it. Spicy, like a spicy, spicy food. hot wing challenge, yeah. But obviously, because I'm not eating wings, I had prawns. She had prawns, yeah. So we filmed it for Patreon. Um, it's available to watch right now. Um, but you have to be on the meet us after 10 tier, yeah, to watch it. So if you're not on that tier, upgrade no, upgrade no, upgrade no, you can watch it. So basically, um, there's a sauce. Let me just get the let me get the picture in it. What's it's Carolina, called? yeah. So Car- Carolina Reaper, the Carolina Reaper, yeah. It's called it's, it's the meant world's, to be the world's hottest chili. The world's hottest chili. Yeah. So shout out to Vicky, Chef Vix. Mm-hmm. She cooks it up for us, isn't it? Cooked it up. But according to Gina, not only did she use the world's hottest chili, she, she used she used jalapenos and scotch bonnets. Included them. Yeah, yeah, in the sauce. So Gina had prawns, I had wings. Yeah. yeah. Smothered in she this stuff. She did say though that you'd probably suffered more than me because obviously the wings are bigger. The wings, fam. Yeah. I should have took a picture of it, yeah? Yeah, for the, just said, for the she content. said the wings were bigger. Fam. So when I was messaging her about yeah. dying, yeah, yeah, she was like, but I was like, do you know what? To be fair, yeah, I think I can handle pepper more than you, though. I think yeah. it was it was pretty evident. So Yeah, it was evident on the, on the on actual the, yeah. when we were recording, yeah. Yeah, so I was like, that also played a part, but who's to say that if I had wings, it might have been worse. Yeah. But... Yeah, because if you if you really think about it, if you look at your prawn and how much sauce was on the prawn, it wasn't that much. Whereas, Compared to yours. Whereas I had like lumps of the sauce no, but on I, top yeah, of the Yeah, but wing. then I also had, you know what it was for me? I had a lot of um, the pepper, like the skin. Yeah. So you know when you see like red peppers, it's yeah, not yeah. just the remnants. I yeah. had the actual like skin of the pepper okay, okay, okay. on my prawns. Yeah. And I made sure, like some of them I took them off. Yeah. Because I thought, oh, I can't. But like towards the end, yeah. I made sure I was eating like the actual chili. Yeah. yeah. Like... All right, cool. So basically what happened was we ate the the wings and the prawns while we played um, Bottoms Up. Shout out to uh, Matthew Bridgman. We played Bottoms Up. We answered questions from Patreon listeners. We answered questions from um, people who sent questions on Instagram. And Muff also gave us a few questions. Yeah, So basically we're eating these hot wings now, eating the whatever, eating the food now. And we're just trying to answer the question. Listen, from my first bite... It hit me like a ton of bricks. Listen, guys, I need you to understand, yeah. It hit okay, me like no. A ton of let bricks. me even let me even take the first bite. Let me look, let me take you lot there. Yeah? Fire. Because obviously, I know about these challenges, isn't it? So oh, yeah. I've done my re- I I don't even need to do my research, but I just know where I go on in it. So yeah. beforehand, I've said to you, listen, we can't just come there blind, innit? Like yeah. we need precautionary measures. Yeah, so gloves. Bread, gloves, oh, yeah, bread, bread, goggles. Um, we're not really milk fans, so we found out that um, you can have something acidic, so we both got orange juice. So we had those things there just to kind of, like, yeah, yeah. help us through the process, yeah. right? So I'm also saying to use our eyes peak, like, um, I hope we don't end up shitting ourselves at bread. Like, I'm making jokes, yeah? And he's like, yeah, it's not going to be that bad, yeah? I said, oh, is it? So I'm like, oh, like, sometimes... Little did I know. Some people even vomit. Yusuf, it literally... Yusuf Little is, did I know. He's literally like, Gina, you're exaggerating. He's like, nah, Gina, you're hyper. Like, he proper was... Dismissed. No, because, no, it's because, one, you were obviously hyping it, and plus, you were making it worse. You were making me, like, nervous and apprehensive. But I feel like... As, and you were like, I don't think it's going to be as bad. I, I think, yeah, yeah, that I even underplayed what we experienced, bruv. No. <laughs> because, because, guys, I basically... We'll get to me. Guys, we'll get to me. I set the tone, yeah? Yeah. And I'm mentally prepared. So to be honest with you, I feel like with, with these kind of... When I was even reading, do my research, they were like, you have to mentally prepare because it's like a lot of the time, shock comes from your mind, innit? Yeah, so yeah. if mentally you're kind of... An, Re- ready for what you're gonna experience, it won't be as bad. Yeah. So I probably made sure I'm mentally prepared. I'm there rapping with Yusuf saying, Yeah, yeah, Yusuf's like, Gina, are you sure? Then I show him a video mm. of someone that we both know who did one of these challenges. Yeah. And she only ha- had like, she didn't even, she didn't even have a full wing as far as we saw. But because, and obviously the video didn't capture the full thing. So I had the full version that she sent it to me from before. So she ended up in hospital. Like it was that bad. She couldn't eat for days. Like for her, it was peak. So I showed him like some of the clips and he was like, no, Gina, now you're scaring me. I said, where you should be scared because what we're about to do is not of God. 
So Brent goes and warms the wings, yeah, mm. and the pooms puts it on the table. From the moment it drops on the table, yeah, guys, I don't, I don't know if it's just me, but whenever I eat hot food, like my head starts to tingle and itch. So I haven't even eaten this food. I'm just smelling it. My head is itching. Like sm- my head starts to tingle and I'm just like, my pores are open. I'm thinking, right, I haven't even eaten this thing. You know, yeah. This is just from common smell. Mm. Then we start. So obviously the idea of most of these challenges is um, you're, you're meant to kind of eat as many as you can without drinking milk or all of that kind of stuff. Like the moment you Impossible. the moment you do that, you you tap out and like you 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 tap t- out and t- that's, t- 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 that's when you're done, yeah. So I'm thinking, okay, we might kind of go down that road. Listen, Yusuf takes one bite, yeah. And I'm looking at him, guys, yeah. And obviously, Yusuf, you were going pink, sort of like, you know, obviously, because we're black, we don't go red, yeah, but yeah. like if you were fairer skinned, yeah. big man, because I could see the pinkness. You were going pink. Yeah. You started sweating. Yeah. What's it called? Your eyes started watering. Yeah. You grabbed that orange. I've never seen you drink yet. Yeah. <laughs> you drank as if to say you'd been in the Sahara Desert for a week and you just experienced, like, it was so funny. And the bread, was, we had, I had brown bread as well. So yeah. Coffee down. Listen, you, you know when, listen, I don't even know how to describe it. It felt like someone opened my mouth up and just... A, br- a fire breathing dragon just breathed down my throat. Like, yeah. It was that hot in my throat, yeah. Obviously, my tongue, the, my inner cheeks, everything's just going crazy, yeah. One bite, it's like, it's like, it's like popular. Like, I don't have to describe it, fam. It's just like out of breath type of. And obviously, real. my body started tingling. I couldn't keep still. We were both shaking. My feet legs were, were jittering. I just, yeah. I was just a bit active. I kept getting up and trying to move and dance and just to keep myself busy. But it was, and obviously. Jean was like, yeah, you can't eat the orange juice. I mean, sorry, drink the orange juice or take the bread now. I was like, fuck that. Yusuf was I fake. need it he immediately. Was, yeah. One bite. One bite, I was... He was gone. I was gone, bruv. I was gone. And then obviously... No, it, it was. It was... You would take a bite and then you go high. And then it was... Then it will kind of like then, simmer down. Yeah, but you're still... Your mouth is still hot, but exactly. it's, like, it's bearable. And then we'll do then a few of the questions again. and then we'll be talking there crazy because obviously our mouth's hot. Then, then it will calm down. We'll come back down to earth again. Take another bite. Let me go back up again. Yes. Come no. back down again. Another yeah. bite. Go back up. So all this like a roller coaster going up and down, up and down, up and down. And you know what it was for me, yeah? I don't really eat bread like that. So oh, I'm never eating brown bread <laughs> in my life. I've got PTSD. I mean, like, I don't eat bread I'm like eating that bread at all. So the fact that we kept having to shove bread down us, yeah. Sickening. It w- I felt, and I don't drink orange juice either. So for me, orange juice and bread, bad prawns, like I can't because. We were shoving bread here yeah, in our mouths to kind of like soak it in. Yeah. And it was making me bl- hella bloated. You know when I, I felt like I had a pot belly, like I was that bloated. Yeah. It was not, nah, it was too much. But you know what? For me, it weren't even a challenge per se, yeah, because oh, there wasn't we, a challenge. It was we got after through it. it. Was after. We got through Listen, it. And guys. then I, and then I was like, All right, cool, you let's let's go home, yeah. Cool. Hold on, let's 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 tell eat because obviously we each had our own journey. Our own journey. Let, I'll let you go first. Right, cool. Mine didn't kick in until right, after cool. you'd gone through yours. So the actual filming, we filmed for like an hour. Yeah. An yeah, hour and a bit. The actual taping wasn't that bad. It was really, really, really hot, but it was bearable mm. because we didn't die in it. Mm. You know what I mean? So cool now. On the way home now. Drive on the way home now, yeah? Cruising down the street. In, in my sixth floor. My stomach's starting to feel a bit painful. Starting to feel a bit weird and that. So I'm driving. I've got my... Left hand on my stomach the whole entire journey. I'm driving. Yeah. I'm just like, oh, this don't feel good, man. I don't feel good. I don't feel good. So I'm like, obviously, I'm driving from Barkingside to Isle of Dog. So A406, A13, whatever, whatever. So I'm driving now, yeah. And I'm just like, oh, my belly's hurt. I'm a bit uncomfortable. I'm thinking, I seem to get home. I'm about 20 minutes, 25 minutes away. It starts to get progressively worse now. And I'm thinking, oh, please. I can't. You I, can't I, shit I can't bear myself. I can't, I can't bear it. I can't. You know what I mean? And at one point, Gina... I'll be very honest, honest with, with you. you. I'll be very honest, yeah? yeah. I was about to shit myself, I'll be honest. I hear Gina, that. Gina, what I felt coming, I felt it coming, yeah? Yeah. I was like, fuck. It I was, was like, hot. I was like, Gina was right. I told you. I was like, no way. I was like, no, no. I was like, so I was looking at where I was. I'm thinking, where can I pull over? Mm. I think I can't shit on myself. Yeah. This is not of God. Mm. So I'm like, Gina, when I tell you, yeah, the, the coming together, the... The tenseness. The, yeah, the, what do you mean? I to, yeah. I had to do the biggest, like, get it together, you. Like, I had to squeeze yeah, yeah. my stomach so tight. Oh, big man, I hear it. I had to, I had to summon the gods Literally, to keep oh. that shit in my stomach. I'll be Odin, very, Freya, I'll be very honest. Guys, if this is uh, TMI, TMI, I'm sorry. Listen, I had to summon the powers of four. Yeah. yeah. 
to keep that stuff in my stomach. Yeah, it was oh, yeah. that bad. Yeah, so I'm like, mm. kept it together. Now, cool. Driving home now. Driving home. Driving home. Driving. Home. My body's still fucked up. Got home now. I couldn't even. I couldn't even stand still. <laughs> Run upstairs. Yeah. Boom. Hit the toilet. Yeah. Fam. Can I just ask you a question? What would have happened if someone was in that toilet? I have two toilets in my house. Luckily. No, but imagine if both are occupied. I'm not gonna lie. I'm looking for a bush. I I'll be very that. honest with you. I hear that. I'm grabbing some tissue quickly. I'm going to a bush. I'll okay. be honest. It was life or death. Yeah. Yeah. So I hit the toilet now. Sorry for the TM. I hit the toilet now. Showers. Showers. It's going. It's going crazy. Back, back, back. Yeah. yeah. Give it and take. take. It's going crazy <laughs> in there. It's going crazy. I'm in the uncomfortable. Gina, I was in doggy. No, you messaged me. I got off the toilet after I finished like round one. I got off the toilet seat. I was on my bathroom floor in doggy. I'm dead. Guys and girls, you know what I mean. I was in doggy. That's the only face down. That's, the, up, that's the only position I can feel comfortable. In. So I'm in doggy now, just, just uncomfortable. Yeah? yeah. Got back on the toilet. Round two. Showers. Showers. It's getting crazy. Getting crazy. Yeah. And then I thought, like, okay, cool. You can breathe. I, I'm, I can breathe now. I can yeah. breathe now. I can breathe now. I'm breathing now. Still a bit uncomfortable. Yeah. But I can breathe. Cool. Got myself together now. I went to lie down. Text no texting Gina, text Vicky, having some water, lying down, trying to rest, da, 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 da. and then I'm like, you know what? I feel good. I feel good. Cool, cool, cool. But let me just lie down. Let me lie down now. Lying down now. And then the pain kind of came back. And then it went. And then it came back. And then it went. And then it came back. And then it, it came went. back. Mm -hmm. And then it didn't go nowhere. Mm. Before I go into the next part of the story, just to let you guys know, mm -hmm. I have never vomited in my entire life. Mm. As a baby, I'm sure I did. Mm. But as far as I remember, I've never vomited from mm. God knows what age, the age of fucking three, four, whatever. I've never vomited. Mm. Yeah. So now, the pain is just getting worse and worse and worse. I'm starting to break out into sweats. I'm being dead serious. I'm going to break out into sweats now, yeah? The pain was so unbearable. I went to my bathroom now. I'm... As soon as I got my bathroom, I collapsed. Not like literally, but I hit the floor. I was like, I was, I was shaking, hyperventilating. I called Gina. Could he call me? I called Guys, Gina. I'm telling you, yeah. I called I've Gina. I've never heard him sound so vulnerable. I called Gina. I just heard G, G, G. So I'm like, you say you're right. Nah, nah, G, I'm not. Nah, Gina, 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 I can't. Gina, I can't. Gina, I can't. The pain is too much. Gina, I can't, I can't handle it. Gina, I can't handle it. I can't handle it. Gina, 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 I'm going to be sick. Oh my god, Gina, I've never been sick before. Gina, I'm gonna be sick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be <laughs> No, listen. I I was dying. I was like I was like exactly what she just said. I was like, oh Gina, I can't, I can't bear it. That's exactly how he was talking. It's too much, Gina. Yeah. No, Gina, no, 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 no. Gina, like, I was I was beside you myself. It sounded yeah. like you were morphing into like No, because Gina, because, like when I tell oh. you, yeah, and the thing is, people might feel, oh, you're exaggerating. No, I'm not exaggerating, yeah. I felt like, I just couldn't understand how I felt. I was weak. My belly was doing a madness. My whole body just shut down. I couldn't really stand up. I was on one knee. I was looking to the fucking mirror, yeah? I just saw sweats and I thought, nah, is this how I'm going to go out? Like, I was, I was, I was like, oh my God, Gina. Nah, oh, Gina's too much. Like, yeah, I was going literally. crazy, yeah? And then, while she's on the phone now, obviously, I've never vomited before, but I know what it feels like to, like, Taste of vomit in your throat, in it. Like in the spit, your mouth gets really yeah. Like, so then my mouth spitty. started, my mouth started to get really spitty, yeah, and mm. it was like drooling out my mouth now. And then I could feel it coming from like deep down. I felt it coming. I was like, oh shit, it's coming, yeah. So Gina said on the phone now. Mm -hmm. I put the phone on the bath on the bath, yeah, mm -hmm. and then it was coming and coming coming. Bleh, head in the toilet seat, yeah. I looked at my phone. I said, Gina, there. Head cool. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of didn't hear this. But I heard, I heard it, man. I heard the call, yeah. I was yeah. just like, Ugh. this is no exaggeration, yeah. The pain that I had in my chest from that vomit, yeah, was so painful, Gina. Words can't describe. First vomit done. Second vomit come now. Again, bleh. the pain was unbearable. So vomited now. It's just, I just felt all the chicken and the shit in my throat. It was uh. nasty. Vomited now. Vomited whatever, whatever. And then after I vomit, obviously, when you vomit, you kind of feel a bit better, in it? So yeah. I vomited now. I still felt bad, but I was cool. So I'm like, cool, I'm trying to calm down now. Whatever, 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 whatever. Getting up off my feet now. Belly still hurting now, so I'll just go and lie down. Go and lie down. Went and lie down. And I think after a while, the pain started to come back again. Uh, so I just drank bare water. Went to the toilet again another time. Took a shower. 
And then I just, I can't remember what I done. I think I was messaging you, whatever, whatever. messaging Vicky, no, 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 just whatever. But listen, that vomit was so painful, yeah? Like, it felt like someone stabbed me in my heart at the same time. Mm. It was that painful. Mm. And then, hold on, let me play, let me play Gina's, even though she doesn't have an impression now, yeah? The... Oh, my impression. The Insta impression. Let's just play that as well, just, just so we can get that. <laughs> hold on. This is... Hold on. No. So, Gina basically posted it on Insta about what happened in it. So, this is her impression of me, like, the other day. You know what? I'm laughing thinking back, yeah, because you see people like, Gina, 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 nah. Gina, oh my gosh, I'm your bitch today. Gina, I'm dying. Gina, 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 Gina I'm gonna be sick. Gina, oh my god, I'm gonna be sick. Oh my god, Gina, I'm gonna be sick. Oh my god. <laughs> No, my laugh is so annoying. Nah. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, nah, did I just come across sounding like a like a bitch on the phone to Gina? Nah, you sounded you honest, said, be, be honest, be honest, be honest. No, you know what it was? Take me there, take me there. You know, you didn't sound like a bitch only because I knew I could relate, mm. if that makes sense. But because I wasn't as bad as you, I just thought, well, damn, if you can't go to Bella Lelch, just where you go. go. <laughs> like, it was a proper world. Like, 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 what were you thinking when you hear me just cry on the phone? Thinking, Yusuf, I said it. I said it was so bad and yeah. I was so worried that yeah. even in my state, I wanted to get in my car and come to your house. Yeah. Because... I didn't think anyone was home. Like, the way you were, <laughs> I just thought, is he by himself? If he's by himself, he's going to die. Like, yeah, so yeah. when you told me later that Laddie and um, yeah. Piggy were there, I thought, yeah. okay, so he, God forbid if something happens to you, at least people are around. You yeah, but, no, but they, they never even knew what was happening. Yeah, but that's, I don't understand. Because... Mine was, mine was really annoying, though. Yeah. All right, cool. So now... Okay. Your story. So, it's mad. Left here, got on the phone to my cousin, Leslie, and I'm like, oh, I didn't die. She was like, hmm. I said, yeah, let's do a breeze. What you mean? Yeah. I said, oh, Yusuf would. I said, Yusuf can't handle pepper. So he, he But those struggles. who can handle pepper still can't handle that though. No, me. Let's, let's, I can let's, handle, no. Let's put it into No, so I'm saying, I said it was worse for you because you don't yeah, eat pepper. Yeah. But even for me, who eats pepper, it was still bad. Yeah. But I thought it was going to be much worse. Yeah. So I'm happy that I eat pepper and it wasn't like, I felt like it could have been 10 times worse. Yeah. In my head, what I expected it to be, it wasn't as bad as that, innit? Yeah. So I was like, yeah, I'm cool. Whatever, just making jokes, whatever, whatever. Get home now. I'm fine. Yeah. Um, so Mance was like, oh, how was it? I was like, oh, it was cool. Whatever, whatever. And I was like, oh, I bought you some. You can try it. He was yeah. like, later. And awesome. I was like, no, it's there. Try it, whatever, whatever. And then, um, what's it called, yeah? It's annoying because his, his friend was there. And um, so it was cool in the beginning. Like, yeah. I was fine. We were talking about it, laughing, whatever, whatever. Yeah. So then he's, he's like, oh, babe, I'm going to go get food. Do you want to eat anything? And I said, no, I'm not going to lie. I'm okay, but I can't eat food, innit? Yeah. I'm going to go lie down for a bit. So I'm like, all right, cool. Let me go lie down. So I'm lying down now. And um, at first, I go get green tea. Yeah. Make green tea. I yeah. can't even drink the tea because my mouth is still really hot. Yeah. So the tea's like, obviously, tea's hot, but you know, like, that pepper feeling. Yeah. So I've got that feeling where my mouth is really I'm like okay cool I can't drink this tea it's fine drink a bit of water whatever I'm lying down so I'm cool I'm cool I'm cool and then but my belly starts to do crink crank crink crank like mm. I start to feel it's like a tire yeah like you know when it's just like not in yeah but it wasn't unbearable it was it was all right yeah. then I spoke to you and you were in Mars yeah and I thought oh, lord don't let me get there yeah. please don't let me get there because it sounded so bad yeah so I was like oh no bust and joke with Vicky whatever whatever after you had your... Remember when you were fine? Yeah. And you messaged me? Yeah. You said, I thought I was going to die. My belly yeah. was turning so much here and it was like I couldn't go to the toilet. Yeah. I couldn't I couldn't have a TMI moment. Yeah. Like, you know when nothing was... Like, you know when everything's inside you and it wants to come out and it's so painful, but nothing's coming. So I thought, nah, yeah. this is worse. Yeah. Because I can't even relieve myself. Yeah, you can't relieve. It's going to be... It's in I was state just very... I was... Used to, I was in that state for time. Yeah. And then, like, lying down was making it worse. It was weird. So I was lying down, and, and the pain was getting worse. So I got up, I went to the toilet, sat in the toilet for time, nothing's happening. Yeah. So then, but I can't stand up. Standing up, I'm proper lightheaded. My belly's hurting me so much to the point where I can't stand. I'm having to lean on the sink. So I sit on the toilet floor, yeah. and I'm just sit, sitting there with one leg up. And then I'm like, all right, cool. I feel like I'm going to be sick. Like, yeah. that whole thing happened. Yeah. Nothing's coming out. And I was like, nah, I would rather be in your position yeah. because afterwards you have... A sign of relief. Yeah. I didn't have that. 
And then it got to the point where it was so painful. I was on my knees and I thought, oh my gosh, this feels like pregnancy contractions. I've never had them, but I say that because they say with contractions, like it starts and then it kind of like yeah. goes away, then it comes back and it goes away. Yeah. And that's what kept happening. Like it will come and when it comes and it's extremely like p- painful, yeah, yeah, that's when I felt like, I felt like dying. Like, and you know what was making me laugh? Yeah? If you could have seen me lying on my bed, yeah, you know when you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's the thing. You can't keep still, innit? No, you, you, you can't keep still. I was doing all of that, and then I, I had to. And but my pain was really like right on the top of my stomach, like under my yeah. chest. So I had to like keep doing this. Yeah, like shaking, shaking, shaking my belly. And, and then I, I, I don't know what it is about the pain where you just. You just can't keep still. No, I was literally... Even in here when we're eating the food, I couldn't keep still. I look like... You know when like you're possessed by like a ghost or something? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Bo- My body was moving mad. Yeah. And then I finally was able to go to the toilet, but I still didn't feel like... And even then, it weren't raining. It weren't... I thought, what is going on? Like, yeah. either I can handle this shit yeah. or I can't because the way I expected to like embarrass myself, yeah. I wasn't embarrassing myself like that. Yeah. But... I just, it was the stomach cramps. The cramps were, unbe- like, the cramps were absolutely, they were unbearable. It yeah. was too much. And then um, I went back online and I remember you were all right now. And I was and I was like, Vicky, I'm dying, you know. And I was like, I'm on my deathbed, bro. Yeah. And she's like, you'll be fine before. And I was like, yeah, I think I've had a delayed reaction because yeah. right now I feel like how you felt before. Yeah. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't breathe. Yeah, I couldn't function, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was, you know, when it's like, it's unbearable. Like, yeah. I just, I did, I hated how I felt. Yeah. And it was self inflicted. It felt worse. Exactly. Why are you a dickhead? Like, why did, this isn't fun. No. Nah, nah, it was, it was too much. And then I did my reset, and then they were like, oh, um, drink Sprite or Seven Up. They were very specific about those two drinks, and yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. And then luckily, I'm guessing it's the uh, citrus, maybe. And luckily, there was like, you know, the mini, really small, like yeah, cans. 50, 40p cans, the yeah. small ones. There was a, a Sprite in the fridge. Yeah. I drank it and I swear to you, instantly, the relief. I don't know what it was. I it's like I, I, drank the, I drank the Sprite and it was like, oh my gosh. So yeah. the pain stopped. I still felt uncomfortable. Yeah. But it wasn't like... Unbearable. Unbearable. Like it was like discomfort. Yeah. But before it was, it was proper, like it was too much before. And then I was just really bloated. And I was so uncomfortable. I struggled to sleep. I couldn't sleep. I was tossing and turning for time. I just felt really, really uncomfortable. And then when I woke up the next day, I was proper like, well, damn. Like, you're going to go better now, Chase. But, where where you the hell? Go? It was mad. I woke up the next day and I was like, all right. Okay. Oh, for y'all motherfuckers. Yeah, but I felt the next day I was all right. I could eat. But yeah, if I'm honest, definitely got PTSD. I got PTSD for real. And... At one point, when I was laying in bed, I was thinking, is this is what having a period pain feels like. Like, no, nah, it, it was worse. It's what girls go through. It like, was having, de- to, it was... having to have these monthly stomach cramps. I was like, right, you guys really go through, you know? No, nah, it was definitely. I was really in my empathy bag in that Defo. moment. <laughs> definitely worse than period pain. I was laying in my bed, just vulnerable, thinking, right, this is what girls go through. <laughs> <laughs> and I was, I had, to, I had to, even when I went to bed, I had to sleep in doggy for a bit. Because I was the only position I was comfortable with. <laughs> no, I had to, I slept on my side. Oh, it was so painful, Gina. And I was like, okay, cool. So, was it worth it? No. It wasn't worth it. I'll be honest, it wasn't worth it. it Not in the slightest. And do you know what really annoys me? That the wings, at, like the prawns actually tasted nice. Like, it's weird. Like, I could taste that they were nice. It wasn't worse. Underneath all the stupid, yeah. um, excessive pepper. Yeah. So, it's like I didn't even get to enjoy yeah. the wings. Yeah. I mean, the prawns. There's um. But honestly, I do that talking about it is actually making me sick. Like thinking about the food. Yeah, no, no. Okay. I'm gonna say something right now. I've got PTSD for eating bread. Mm-hmm. Even though I never even ate bread before anyway. I stopped eating bread like five years ago, yeah. Mm-hmm. But scoffing down that bread in that scenario it's made me I felt sick the next day. And I kept tasting bread in my mouth, like brown bread. Mm. I'll never look at orange juice the same. And I I love orange juice, by the way. Neither, I don't. So and we don't. I don't think I'll ever, ever, ever try anything like that ever in my life. Yeah, it's not worth it. It's not fun. Because it made me it made me do something that I've never done before. It made my body do something it had never done before. Nothing in my life had ever made me vomit. Apart from that, that showed me how serious that was for my body. Yeah. My body was like, what the fuck is going on here? Yeah, it's too much. Like, we, we got to reject this. We got to send this shit back up and out your mouth right now because yeah, yeah, yeah. what is going on here? Mm-hmm. Like, mayday, mayday, mayday. But let's play. This is a little snippet from the from the episode. Um, obviously, if you're on Patreon, you'll be able to see the full video. We'll put a preview up as well. The visual, put a preview on the Insta, but here's a little um, 
there's a little sample of when we first ate the wing, or when I first ate the wing. Yeah. Naming members of the Kardashian family. Alright, Chris. Kim. Chloe. Uh, <laughs> Courtney. Kylie. Um, Kendall. Did I say Chris? What? Did I say Chris? <laughs> Did I say Chris? Shut up! <laughs> Hold on. Alright, I'm actually alright. Nah, you right? Yeah, because I. Fam. Okay, the thing is, yeah. I eat spicy foods. I don't. My mouth is getting numb. No, okay, you I'm see, I can hear you. the spit in oh. your mouth. So if you can't drink straight away. Why not? You okay. don't, yeah, I'm don't drink it straight away. Do I have to? <laughs> is there like a, what, is there a time limit? No. Wow, Yusuf, you are really... Yeah, you don't eat pepper, boy. I don't eat pepper. I eat pepper, so I'm not going to lie. I'm not... I don't eat pepper. Just, Yusuf, you... Look... me there. Yusuf. And here. I might look that bad. I'm actually okay. I'm sweating. No, I know. You see if you're going red. No, your eyes are worried. This is hilarious. Okay, cool. Okay, guys, as you can but see, I'm okay. With the cars, yeah? It was meant to be like... No, a, you see if you are in bits. Whoever makes a mistake, whoever pauses... Has to eat. Has to be a forfeit, so... A forfeit has on, to eat, right? You have to eat, but please allow me for this one. All right, cool, fine. <laughs> well, they're begging for my he life, said, you please know? allow me for this one. <laughs> You need to look into the camera because people can't see. They can see me. No, they can't. No, they need to see your face. No, your eyes are blinking. I can't. So, <sighs> so at this point, I'm, I'm just, actually right. I'm just chucking down. You have nothing, bro. What do you mean? I didn't. You have one bite. You have bear. You don't have bear. You have one bite too. I got to give this up. But your your wings are bigger than mine now. That's why I'm trying to like pace myself. I got to deliver this. Someone else. Has... All right. So that was basically two minutes of an hour. And that was like the first bite. That was like the first round. So that was like that was like the beginning. And I was already, as you can hear, I was done from the beginning. So yeah. If you're on Patreon, uh the Meet Us After 10 tier, you can watch that video right now. If you're on the Meet Us After 5 tier, you'll have to upgrade to be able to watch it. Um, and if you're not on any tier, sign up now. And you, can watch, you can watch the full video. It's as simple as that. Watch the full video. Um, all right, cool. Before we get into Vikings, um, it's funny because when it rains, it pours. We didn't do spending Hall of Fame for like God knows how long. And then in two weeks, I got, I had bear last week. I got another bunch got today. More. I got bear more today. Oh, so wow. shout out to a listener who tagged me in this thread. So yeah, let's go. Spending Hall of Fame. Um, our men Habla, our men Habla gated to pay for everything in the relationship. Habla gated. Boy, I thought you were speaking Spanish. <laughs> That's what I was speaking. <laughs> so rather than saying ob- obligated, ob- obligated yeah. they said Habla, H-A-B-L-A, mm-hmm. space, gated, G-A-T-E-D. Obligated, uh, Abla, You know, it just reminded gated. me. What? When me and Sandals first got together, yeah, and we, we weren't even together when we first started dating, whatever you want to call it, yeah, he used to always write does. For? But we'd write does as... <laughs> D O S E those, okay. and it used to pick. I'd be like, it's freaking does, bro. Yeah. Like, it was so funny because he'd be like, those, yeah, those, yeah. And then one day I made him do lines. Like he literally wrote does, 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 does. Like yeah. for so many, I said, please. I was like, you're too old to be writing those. It's Re- too much. Redeals. Redeals. Redeals it. Brent, are you still in your meeting? Okay, it looks like he is. Done. So yeah, so so guys. Uh, that's obligated. I can't even speak right now. Obligated, yeah. Habla, obligated. All right, next one. Um, anyways, I like my outfit last night. So it's a picture of a girl in a outfit. dress. Outfit? Yeah. But how did she spell it? Um, spell it, sorry. I like my outfit. So A-L-P-H-E-T. 
Outfits. Like, no, is she okay? Like no, no, alphabet. No, 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 you're taking the mic. That one, no. Outfits. No. I like my outfits. And someone said, I know you ain't trying to say outfit. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're not trying to say outfit. No. Outfit. Outfit. Are you telling me the truth? No. Um, matter of fact, the girls at <laughs> it's here. Uh, shout out to Dirty D Y Y T. Uh, all right, next one. Um, why is soon? <laughs> this is dumb. Why a soon when you can just ask? Assume. Yeah. So rather than assume, yeah, she wrote why a soon a soon soon. So why, as in W Y. So W H Y space A space S O O N. Why soon when you <laughs> hold? This is the funny part. And then someone corrected her and said, "Assume," and she yeah. said, "You retarded." <laughs> <laughs> oh, she got her feelings. Um, feelings. All right. Uh, I want to feed you pasta. Mm -hmm. What if I don't want pasta? Why are you lack? Are you lack toast and tor? No, sorry. Hold on. Because we don't want before. So the you one. Wait, wait, no, the one before is in my head, but that's not what this is. This, this is something different, right? Mm -hmm. Why are you lactose and told her aunt? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what? Told her aunt? <laughs> are you lactose and, and told, told her, her aunt, aunt for lactose intolerant? No, 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 no. These people are so. And the person said, pardon? Mm -hmm. And he said, lactose and told her he aunt. He repeated himself. The thing where you can't eat dairy. And he said, Lact lactose intolerant, idiot. That is dumb. So, lack. Space, mm -hmm. toast, mm -hmm. space, mm -hmm. and space, mm -hmm. told, mm -hmm. space, her, mm -hmm. space, aunt. Do you know what's annoying me? The fact that they even, because that's a long, you even repeated yourself and wrote it again. Lack, toast, and told, her aunt. Sometimes you just got things that these things are fake. Mm. All right, this one I don't understand, so I was hoping you could help me with it. Right, okay. Cool. Men will shave their balls, but lie about overcooking salmon. Motherfucker, you worried about the wrong PlayStation 5. Hold on. I don't get it. Maybe I'm Men will... Men will shave their balls... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. But lie about overcooking salmon. Motherfucker, you worried about the wrong PlayStation 5. I don't understand, man. And I thought you could help me. Wait. Maybe it's the overcooking salmon that's wrong. No, it is, but... Maybe men will shave their balls. Oh, but what does overcooking salmon... What does that mean? Listeners, please tell us. What? Overcooking salmon. And the key part is, motherfucker, you, you're... You're wrong about the wrong... You're, you're worried about PS5? the wrong PlayStation 5. Or does it say PlayStation 5? No, it says PlayStation 5. Look. Overcooking salmon. What does overcooking salmon mean? Hold on, hold on. Go on, read it. Also, keep it out on the screen. Is the screen flipped to us? No, I can't see it. Oh, I think that's what he came in and done it. Yeah, but why didn't he just flip it to us? Yeah, another, another 30 minutes, I'll check it. Overcooking salmon. I'm sure a listener will know and tell us. Gina's looking at it like it's fucking... Nah, because I really don't understand. Maybe it's not spending all the fame then, I don't know. All right, next one. I like... Sorry, I smell like men's cologne. But it's just the spelling. So rather than spelling cologne, mm -hmm. she wrote C O L O N. Colon. Co colon. Colon, basically. Um, colon cleans. The seizure salad from McDonald's is so good. Caesar. So rather than writing Caesar, -E she wrote seizure like I had a seizure. S E I Z U R E. Mm. Um, do you know how sexy it is when he teases you in bed with a bird leaf? Oh my God, she meant feather, y'all. Something, <laughs> Wait. Something has to bring me an inhaler. No, but that is funny. A bird leaf. A bird leaf. No, but that is funny. Really is it? That is hilarious. All right, this is uh, French Montana. Actually tweeted this one in 2011. He said, you ever met somebody off Twitter that you meet up and they got the same outfit? Oh, it's the same outfit shit. So a l p h e t. Yeah, it's about the same. Yeah, you ever meet someone off Twitter and you meet up and they got the same outfit that they had on their profile pic? <laughs> outfit. Outfit. So not only did that girl, whoever she was, um, write outfit. French Montana is also a dumbass. And that concludes the Spend the Hall of Fame for this week. My favorite one has to go down to Habligated. I'm a big fan of that one. Yeah. Habla. 
How obligated? No, mine's um. What one did I go? Which one? Lactose and toilet. Oh, lac- on, lactose and toilet. Yeah. Stupid. Oh, have you seen the pictures of Romeo Beckham? No. So he's. I'm not sure what magazine it is. Yeah. It's a cover for some magazine. He's Romeo. Romeo Beckham is the second son. This guy. Oh. No. This guy, yeah, is a spitting image of, dad. of both his parents. Limpy. It's actually scary um, how much he looks like his mum and dad. And in some pictures, you're like, that is Victoria all over. Another picture, that's young David. It's mad. Obviously, that's his parents, so it's not that mad, but it's just mad when you look so much like your parents, isn't it? Um, hold on, let me find his Instagram page. Romeo Beckham. Here we go. He hasn't even posted the pictures. Oh, yes. All right, look, look at that picture there. Isn't that, isn't that boss bias? I'm not going to lie. He looks like Victoria. Mad, oh, isn't it? But well, you can screen your eye and you yeah, look at David. He looks like David as well. Mad. Genetics, no? Crazy. He proper looks like his mum. He looks more like his mum, though. Yeah. Like I proper see Victoria in He him. does, but if you look at David Beckham, like... Um, Look at my fact, United days, yeah. This. But look at David Beckham, my United days. He looks days. like his mum. He does, so he does. Badly. But look at David Beckham, my United days, early my United days. So is days. he a model, yeah? <laughs> look at him, bruv. Well, yeah, he obviously is. But he's a good, like, he. No, he's good looking. I mean. No? I mean. He ain't bad looking. He's not bad looking. No, he ain't my bag. No, it's not, obviously, it's not your bag, but he's good looking. No, but he's got his mum's face hard. No, he has. He's, he's his mum's twin. But also his dad twin. Do you know what it is? It's when he hasn't got hair, it's the hair that I just, that throws me off. But have you seen a young Ragnar when he used to have hair and like... No, Gina, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking crush. Man crush, man crush Monday, you know. This, girl, this, guy's, this girl's got Ragnar as a fucking WhatsApp profile pic. <laughs> he's, a, he's an ex-Calvin Klein model. I know, I'm, I'm sure. Rag- Ragnar's a... Uh... Oh, do you know who I like, though? Who I think is a spice. Who? Lagafar. Lagafar. Come on. Jeez. Fam. Listen, Lagafar, I'm I'm going to officially inaugurate Lagafar into the Peng. Have you seen her like snowball. out of out of the show though? Like it, it, on her Insta page and stuff. No, no. She's a pengers. Like we're gonna officially Obviously on the show she looks dirty. In, I mean, yeah, integrate Lagafar. What's her real name? This is a research. Lagafar uh, from Vikings into my Snow Bunny Hall of Fame, yeah. Who else is in that Hall of Fame? Well, I'll tell you. We've got Scarlett Johansson. It's definitely up in there. Megan Fox is definitely up in there. And now we've got Lagafar from Vikings. Definitely Her real name is... Drum roll, please. Catherine Winnick. Catherine Winnick, you are the third entry into the Snow Bunny Hall of Fame. Yeah, she's hot. Guys, send in your entries. It's so dumb. <laughs> Let's compile our top ten. Okay. But yeah, Megan Fox, Lagafar, and... Um, Catherine Winnick. And Scarlett Johansson. Um... I gotta ask actually, um, which one of your parents do you look like? Mum. Okay, I look like my mum, yeah. But the man them who the man them will be able to laugh at this one, yeah. My dad kind of looks like Robbie from Arsenal fan TV. It's making me live it. <laughs> <laughs> the old black man yeah. with the round head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at Robbie. Every time I look at Robbie, I get like, I get like. <laughs> <laughs> I feel weird because oh, I feel it? like I'm looking at my dad. No swear. Like Robbie looks like my dad. <laughs> that is hilarious. It's mad. Shout out to Robbie. Um, crucial Robbie. All right, cool. Um, is there like a theme tune I can play? Or? I mean, you can play their theme tune, but it's a bit morbid. All right, let's go. Um, Have you got it? Nah, I have to get it. Get the soundtrack in it. But I'm so excited but, we're doing this. I know, but you're we're not... doing it, but remember, I am I, currently on yeah. season two, episode nine. You have to let me know where you're at and then I I'll just be... told you. So you think I remember what happens in season two, episode <laughs> nine? I mean, explain to me the turn of events. Have uh, you cool. been Blood Eagles yet? Have you watched yes, that? Yes, yes, okay, yes. Okay, cool. All right, hold on. Vikings... So now he's an earl. Yeah. No, now he's king. No, not yet. He's ruining for me now. Oh, but it's, but it's obvious. Not like that, but Yusuf. Have you not seen the pictures where they're like farmer, Earl, no. King, Legend? I haven't seen the picture. I haven't even put them up. What picture? Okay, this is a. I mean. Is it? Is it? I don't know because. It says Vikings TV theme. Forward it because this is very. Um, Original motion picture. Yeah, it is. It is. Anyway, okay. come 
copyright, copyright, thing. copyright, <laughs> copyright infringement. All right, cool. Um, all right, cool. So yeah, Vikings is gonna be our new weekly talk about on the pod. If you ain't watching it, you better watch it. If not, fast forward this part, or I put the timestamp, all that stuff in it. Mm. So I'm on. So what's happened? So where I am now? Where I am now? Um, oh, so this is why I asked you and Brent in the group. So when? So obviously he's had his fourth son now with my girl. Yeah. And she's he's the monster. Yeah. But because it was wrapped in the yeah. the blanket, blanket or whatever, yeah. I never knew what was what was a monster about him. So I put in the group to you guys, oh yeah. what about this baby's a monster? Yeah. Then I asked you guys, because I thought Ragnar was gonna was gonna kill him. Because mm. remember he had the axe to him, mm. but then he didn't kill him, he left him mm-hmm. and then he put the axe there and walked away. And then, you know, just by luck and chance, his mum shows up two seconds later and picks mm. him up. But I said to you and Brent, ah, oh, I said to Brent, you and Brent. Are there any consequences to Ragnar leaving his son in the woods? But then, after I sent that message, the wife came. So yeah. I deleted the message to you guys. Oh, okay, cool. no point. So obviously, he accepted him later on, and we saw that his legs, he has basically got any legs, basically. He's got legs. He just, he's a there, cripple. There's no it? bones in his legs. Yeah. Something like that. Anyway. Um, so yeah, on that part, I'm at the part where, so they've gone now. Man, that like either the bonus, you know. They've gone to. Um, they've gone on they one another voyage. Yeah. To where um original uh priest is. What's his name again? Ethelstein. Ethelstein. So they're where Ethelstein is. Someone was that Junior was saying it was it Ethelstein? Yeah, they're where Ethelstein is. Yeah. And then the North king Umbria. the king who the king who Ethelstein is with, mm-hmm. his son went to go and chop up with Ragnar and was like, Yeah, we're we Ethelstein's waiting for you and, they, and he gave um, him Ethelstein's uh, bracelet. Yeah. So he knew he was alive. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But then Ragnar and them man ambushed them lot yeah. and killed them in it. Yeah. But the king's son stayed alive. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Yes. And then they now they've gone to go and see him, and that's where I'm at. Gone to see who? The king. The king where Ethelstein is staying. That kingdom. In the UK, in England. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so that's... that's oh, right. King Egbert. Yeah, Egbert, yeah. So they, they've, they've... He got... reminds me of Lord Farquhar from Shrek so badly. Bit, bit. Yeah, so... Yeah, but so he's they... got blonde hair. Yeah. Right, so they, yeah. So they're on the way to see King Egbert. Egbert, yeah. Um, Egbert just had sex with the princess and she's a, she's, on, she's, on, she's on crud and he sends in his three guards to have sex with her. The princess? The princess, man. The one... The princess the... who killed her brother. Her brother oh, she's her. killed her brother, yeah. No, 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 she didn't kill the brother out. In like on show, she said she killed him because remember when she was coming. Okay, so you know the princess you're talking about, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, let me be quiet before I ruin it. Okay, no, so the, the princess is a princess who said that her brother raped her when she was twelve. Yeah, but it's and her uncle as well, right? So she hates her uncle and her brother. She's the princess because she killed her. Her dad died, and she killed her brother. Basically, she she's there because she wants these lot to help her, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah and she has to sex, fight to and fight. She has sex with with Egbert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Egbert bust quick. Yeah. She wanted to go on for longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he yeah. sent three guards in to, to take her. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. But, okay. No, now I know where you are. Mm. And I know what not to say. Yeah, so that's, that's so where I'm So they're now going there. to meet King Egbert. King yes. Egbert. Yes, Egbert. Right. And Ethelstein is there. And, um... But I haven't seen... Oh, uh, what's the de- what's the son's name? It's bugging me. What son? Beyond. No, Egbert's son. I can't remember. But for some reason... He's like a soldier. But, like they, one of but for some reason, they, they kept him alive, though. Because remember, they ambushed him and his yeah, men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for some reason, because they, they didn't kill Ra- him. You know, you know what you need to understand with Ragnar? He's very calculated. Yeah. In like, so for example, like he didn't kill Ethelstein for a reason. Do you understand mm. what I mean? So he's very calculated. No, but he was going to sacrifice him, though, remember? But he didn't. Yeah, but I'm saying... Because he's because he was his heart was corrupt or whatever. I know, but I'm saying he could have killed him the day when he... Yeah, like, he could have killed him, yeah. He's very calculated with how he like yeah, moves. Yeah. He's very, like, chess... Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. there's a there's a reason why he wouldn't have killed Fingy's son. It's leverage, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, of course. Or of like course, a, yeah. you're going to owe me one now. Like, yeah. you owe me your son's life kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. So... For, for true, for true, for true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, so you need to get further though, man. No, of course, of course, of course. Season four is when like you proper stick your teeth into like. What I could do right now is kind of break you down, my favorite what? characters and what I like and stuff. So all right, cool. obviously Ragnar, mm-hmm. my G, mm-hmm. my daddy. He annoys me a little bit though. He's a bit too like he doesn't. Because basically, he's basically a crook in it. Mm. All he does is rob people, essentially. <laughs> so he's a good he's a good character because you can tell. His heart's in the right place, I guess. I don't know, but... No, do you know what it is? He always does his rub. He's just No, but my thing is, yeah, it's all for the greater good of 
Of him? Of no, him? No, 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 of him no. and his kingdom? His king, I, I think it's more his kingdom than him per se. And as the story unfolds, I'll see. you understand why it's not just for him. It's literally his kingdom. Yeah. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. And legacy and for when he's like, gone, yeah. when he's gone. That's why Do you know what I mean? Having so his whole thing is legacy. Yeah. It's not even about him when you think about it. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, he definitely is a crook or a thief or whatever. But remember, yeah. we're looking at it from our way of living. They're yeah. Vikings, like that's yeah, all that's, they know. That's, like that's that, doing, yeah. to be a Viking, you have to, you have to fight. You have to go and travel and like. Be, do you know what I mean? Yeah. If you don't do those things, you're not classed as a Viking. So yeah. that's all they know. Yeah. So from our perspective, it's very barbaric. But for them, it's the way of life. Yeah, no, like you see how for us, like you'd think just reason with people. Yeah. Like. And when they, like, when the British... That's why the British are so scared of them. Because yeah. it's like, with them, they want to reason. With them, it's like, reason? Yeah. Like, that doesn't exist in there. Yeah. Because from where they're from, that's how they are towards each other. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. So, I, I, get, I, get, I get what you mean. But honestly, I love him so much. No, no I like him so much. And I need Obviously, to, I calm down on my love, but yeah, I love him. Yeah, he is my favorite character. Um, Rolo, this is like a love-hate relationship. He's a, he's a, he's a, you're not going to like him. Man. I like him now because mm. he's back on the good side. But when he first linked his brother and killed um, One Eye yeah. and had the stake in, in One Eye's chest, I was like, this guy is a fucking betrayal. Like, this guy, obviously, <laughs> it's just based on jealousy and no, envy. No, but Yusuf, that's not, it doesn't, that's not, like, that's not even the peak of it. Yeah, but that's why I am now, though. No, I'm saying, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. If you don't, if you don't really like him now, yeah, but you've just exposed that he's gonna double cross him again. No, but I'm just saying, not necessarily though. But I'm just saying his character. Yeah, you can tell he's the kind of person who, like, I guess it's because he's living in his younger brother's shadow. Yeah, it like jars him. Yeah, of course. But that's on you, though. Yeah, I really want to know the age gap between them. They never talk about age, like, like how, the whole series. How older is he than him? No one ever, no one ever mentions age, and a lot of people. Do, what I realized also, I think back then, a lot of people didn't know their age. Yeah, I think they asked one slave girl. Yeah, she how old doesn't know. know. Yeah, like no one. I don't think people remember birthdays and dates and stuff like that. So yeah, they just live. They just live. Yeah, so like. You never knew how many years after. You don't know how old. Like I couldn't tell you how how old anybody was. Like they never ever mentioned age ever. Yeah. The only time they jumped and they showed us the jump was when they jumped four years to when um Ragnar's sons were like small. And even when they become like big adults later on, yeah. you don't know how many years later it is. They're just they're just oh, okay, big. Okay. No, but don't they show on the screen? No, it doesn't say how many years. Because they, just... they they did before. It said four years later. Before. Not not later on. Okay. Um obviously I love Lagafar. I love that she's a warrior. She Shield can fight. Maiden. I love Bjorn. He was annoying as a boy, but yeah, I, he I, was like him as, a I like him as a man. Yeah. Um, as a man, yeah, he's definitely like another one that I've like. Yeah, I like him I've now. got a soft spot for I kind of like Ziggy now. Is it Ziggy? Um, Snake Eye. Not Snake Eye, man. Oh, um, the woman. Yeah, the woman. The woman. Um, she was the old yeah, wife at, at first. Yeah, Ziggy. I kind of. Is it so oh, Ziggy? I Ziggy. Ziggy. Yeah, I kind of like her a little bit, but she's kind of a snake. She she's, is very. She's, but she's also got. She's also very. Um, She's a bit of a snake, but she's like, she's got a good heart. Yeah, she got she's a snake with a good heart. If, if that is even a thing, what's rattling me is the fact that they got to lick that man's hand after he tells him the prophecy. The seer. It's making me sick. Yeah, just licking his bare hand. Like, ugh. Yeah. Um, I does it not rattle you that they drink bare blood? Like whenever they're sacrificing and like it's they literally sick. drink animals. I'm not a fan of Floki. Which doesn't inspire me because I don't, I don't like Loki either from mm. MCU. I don't like that type of character. This jars me now. Yeah. And the fact that he's now seems to be going against Ragnar, or he has cons- he's conspiring against Ragnar for whatever reasons. H- hatred is pissing me off as well. Mm. So I can't wait to see what happens with him. Um, I love the Avelstein's like Avelstein, his journey from yeah. monk to pagan to priest, and I'm sure he's got another you know narrative. His character is so key, man. You know what I mean, um. There's so many different fucking kings and earls and this and that. It's actually mad. So, and the, the rules, if you kill the earl, you become the earl. Yeah. The same way Lagafa killed my man, stabbed him in the eye. But her husband was mad though. He was like... What do you mean? Uh, you see the way she killed him, yeah? Because he was about elite. to expose her breasts. It's so elite. Man just stabbed No, well, she, technically she, she didn't kill him. It was, it was the other guy. Remember? No, but she took out his eye. She took out his eye and he just, he just cut her throat. And then did you see when he tried to... I was like, yeah, but you promised me... Yeah, she was just like, no, I'll I, be didn't, happy. She I like, didn't. No, she didn't. She's like, nope. She was just barely lying. Nope. I don't know what's No, but do you know what it is? No, but I think, no, because 
No, 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 no
Because but the thing is, because he has so much charm and, and you wit. You know what it, I know, it's and that's the only reason him. why I overlooked it. It's hard yeah. to hate him. But at the moment, at the time, but, when it was happening, even when Bjorn was getting upset and saying, I hate you, like, yeah. why are you doing this to my mother? Yeah. It really hurt me because I was thinking, your missus rides for you, you know, even when, even I'm not back. Lie. I was like, Bjorn, shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was upset. Oh, no, sh- shut up. No, because you're doing it in front of your son. Like you're know, all in the bedroom and you're, know, and you're chill, beating another man. Kid. Nah, to me it's disrespectful. Especially, chill. Especially if you know that like... Let daddy get his rocks off. No, <laughs> like daddy loves... Like Bjorn loves his mum. Do you understand I know, what I, mean? I know, I know. So that really hurt my feelings. And the fact that... But what I respected was when the she tried again no. and he was like, nah, he can't do it to... He, it, was, it was mainly because of Bjorn. Yeah, but of course. Because Bjorn was right there though. No, of course. Bjorn but, wasn't right but there. Bjorn was there the first time. I know, and he, he didn't care the first time. Exactly. What I'm saying is... If Beyond wasn't there the second time, what would he have done the second time? Fair enough. Because lo and behold, they have four kids, so. <laughs> yeah, because they, got, because they eventually got together. Yeah, I don't know. But shit. it's not out of love, though. Well, you don't think Rackham Rack loves her? No, it's not out of love. He loves both of them. He said that. He said it to the... Nah, bruv. Wait till... He loves both of them. When you get later on, he even admit like, it's not... Because, it's not... because he wants sons. So basically... Don't, don't spoil. But... No, I'm not, but... You know how the girl, the remember she said to him, "Oh, the seer told me that I was going to have your kids." Yeah? yeah, so it's like it was, it was more fulfilling that prophecy if that makes sense. Yeah, because Thingy weren't able to have any more kids. Yeah, what's her name, Lagafa? Yeah, so the seer told them that. So yeah. and remember, because he's big on legacy, mm. he's thinking, "Bro, I want my kids though." Do yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's more based on that. Yeah. Than you even clock it, their interactions and stuff, the way he was with Lagafa compared to the way he's with Yeah, her. no, I've clocked it already. Yeah, like, and, it's she, not... and, and she seems to like Lagafa as well. She like, she, she sees, she's kind of envious of some of her traits, like the fact that she can fight, she's a bit of a because, warrior. Because, you know, because... She's just like a lady, isn't it? Because everybody rates her... And respects her. ...to the point where, even though you're married to the Earl, yeah, no or like, you're, not, you're the next person in power, yeah. they don't care about you. Yeah, even like, when Lagafa came back... Do you see how everyone was going mad? Oh my God, like if we missed you. Exactly. And, and she just walked by and no one said nothing to her. No That's it, exactly. Because pissed. you don't you don't have any, not any purpose, but it's like, her purpose was to, to bear thingy's kids. And she has. This is it. I hate the fact that they've they've called in the other son, something, 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 snake eye. Just take oh, the, Sigurd the snake eye. Just take the snake eye out, bro. It sounds dumb. No, it's They're because it's, have you not seen his eye? Yeah, I know why. It's yeah, but have you not noticed? They all have nicknames. What's Ragnar's name? So, his is obviously, he's Ragnar Lofbrook. I thought that's his surname. Yeah, but like that's that's also like his a lot of them have like not nicknames, but like Ivor's Ivor the Boneless. Yeah. Siggy Siggy the Snake Eye. Yeah. Um What's Beyond? He hasn't got it yet, but oh. he gets it later on. Oh. But it's if I tell you, is it gonna What is it? Beyond Ironside. So like Okay, don't, don't tell me why it's called Ironside. No, but I'm saying like as and and then moving forward, people yeah. will call him Beyond Ironside. They oh, won't okay, call okay. him Beyond. Do you get what I mean? And that's why people don't call oh, him so Ragnar, they call him Ragnar Lothbrook. Like So not I thought that was Brent. So then, so hold on. But why, why would they call him Beyond Lothbrook? Because, one, because I don't know if Lothbrook is, I don't know. No, it is because Lagafa's name is Lagafa Lothbrook. Oh, it? is it? Yeah. Okay. But they all have like, where well, it was. Nicknames. Lofbrook, so her, they call her Lagafa the Shield Maiden. Like everyone has like a, uh, a little a tag. Tag, okay. Yeah, so. Because on Amazon, if you, if you click the screen, mm-hmm. when a certain character's on the screen, the name comes up in it. Oh, okay, fair enough. The character didn't come up. Yeah. It says Lager for Lovebrook. I've missed that one person. <coughs> Beyond Ironside. Sigurd Snake. Oh. I swear he has, he has four sons. Yeah. No, five sons. Uber, but... Uber. <laughs> Uber. As, as in Uber. Yeah, Uber. But where's the, where's the rest? He hasn't got a... Oh. He's not got a, a thingy. But to be... Okay, put it this way, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No spoilers. It's not a spoiler, it's just... F- yeah. No, but I can tell the way you're pulling. And Floki's Floki, the boat, the boat builder. Like people oh, okay, okay. refer to him as not just Floki. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh, again, I gotta check this camera. Man. It's cool. I need to pee as well. It's fine. It's fine. All right, cool. All right. While Gina takes a piss. What should I do? Um, I'll take this time out to promote Patreon, guys. So if you haven't signed up for Patreon, sign up right now. The link is in the description. You're going to get exclusive monthly content from your two faves. Um, we're also going to do Watch It With Us. 
Um, we're watching a series every month and we'll have two discussions per month discussing that series. This month's show is Dear White People on Netflix. Yes. Also, we'll be doing a training session as well every month. That's in the top tier. Um, so yeah, man, Patreon. Get your Patreon right now. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else can I say to full time? Yes. Um, any dilemmas? Me and Subter7 at gmail.com. Songs of the week. Same email. Or you can DM myself or Gina. Please follow the Instagram. Please follow the Twitter. And yes, Gina's back now, so I can stop babbling. All right. Um, all right. I've got a question here. Talk to me. The people need to find this out respecting Rasby. Oh, um, the video that came out the other day? I said I said to say this. We live in a day and age now, yeah? I don't think he's lying, though. No, I never thought he was lying. But we live in a day and age now, yeah, where these type of allegations are coming in thick and fast. Yeah. Yeah, in the last few years. Mm -hmm. And we're also living in a very, or much more, sensitive times than we did previously, yeah? Where... If this story came out today, people probably would have taken it more seriously. 100%. It's but because, because it came, came out, out in a certain time, people could have brushed it off. But he's continuously, and he's still going, he's still talking about it. So is it time for people to take Rasby seriously and stop calling him crazy and calling him gay? And yeah, no, like, I, don't, I don't believe he's, I don't think he's lying. I don't believe he's gay. I don't believe, I believe that he actually went through those traumatic experiences and even when he was like, listen, let's go and take a, a lie detector test. Like, he's... Listen, I've got the video right here. Getting a bunch of calls. Check the... So I've been getting a bunch of calls from my loved ones, people that support me. And they're like, take this down, deal with this privately. But I say, yo, they've ruined me publicly. They've tried to smear my testimony, make me out to look crazy, got people looking at me sideways... Got people thinking that I'm gay and I'm not because I was molested by a pedophile. So this is how we do this. Since y'all want to try to shut me down publicly with sending out cease and desist letters, let's get in the room with the lawyers and let's take a polygraph test. I'm going to take the test. And when I take the test, you can, you can do whatever it is that you need to do. When you take it and when you fail, you take this fade. And you take that bit. Because I'm tired of being bullied and I'm not going to be bullied no more. Yeah, no, it's time for people to take Rasby serious. The same way... Okay, what's, what's going on? Sorry. Are you texting your boyfriend or something? I'm done. Okay. So the same way um, people have gotten R. Kelly out of here, it's the same way that Chris Stokes and whoever else, was it Mark Houston? Houston need to, you know, the same energy needs to be given to yeah. them. The question is why, because, okay, let's be honest, in the industry, sometimes it's like the more powerful you are, the more untouchable you kind of are. Chris Stokes and Marcus Houston are not on R. Kelly. Do you want it is? So why is it that they it's seem so untouchable? R. Kelly's a man. No. Oh, Rasby, you mean? It's because Rasby is a man, okay, yeah? Okay, okay. People are not taking it as serious because yeah. I swear to you, if Rasby was a woman... Of course, of course, of course, of course. It goes without saying Goes about saying. That's what I'm saying. If Rasby was a woman, listen, them two would not be in like they wouldn't be getting off as easy as they as they would be, right? Yeah. Um, I think also what doesn't help is the kind of bad relationship B2K has as a group. Yeah. So that kind of adds to this narrative of Rasby being a bit yeah, like wayward, or yeah, yeah. do you know what I mean? It kind yeah. of takes his character a bit because of yeah. how things are of the group. So I yeah. feel like people are taking all of that to kind of make an assumption based on him. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I feel like that's what's allowing these lots to get away with it. Also, um, if I'm honest, I think the main reason is because he's a man. Because I was going to say also, like, if more... With R. Kelly, obviously, you've got multiple women speaking up about it. Yeah. Um, with Harvey Weinstein, multiple women. I yeah. guess with Bill Cosby, you had multiple yeah. women. So, because I guess the more people that speak out about a situation, the, the more likely people are going to like take it serious yeah um but then i do believe though that again if it was a woman and it was just the one woman making these allegations against both of them it still would probably be taken a lot more serious than it is yeah of course so of i course. think it mainly stems down to the fact that he's a man 
No, it definitely does. And you know what? You know what's so. Um, I don't know what to use to be fair, but it's like, okay, cool. If he was a woman, it would be taken seriously from the jump. Because it's a man, it's not. But if it feels like, and if I'm wrong, explain, like tell me, it feels like as a man, because of, and if Crystal was here, she'll say patriarchy. Because of patriarchy and because of how men have treated women throughout the years, and you, you know, I don't have to go into all just spiel on it. It feels like as a man or as men, we can't be like, what about us? Because it's like, oh, shut up. Like, I mean, it just feels like men can't cry victim because we are men and you are women. So it's like, okay, cool. Us as men, for example, we can't like rally for Raz B because of patriarchy. But like, you know, but the thing, you know what I mean, that's, also, that's 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 what it feels like. But then I feel like also you lot wouldn't rally up for Rasby though. No, so no, the, no, okay, not just Rasby for anyone. No, but I'm saying men yeah. in general won't rally for Rasby. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. For, men, men don't rally. Yeah, men don't rally for men. Patriarchy, yeah, definitely, but it's also amongst yourselves. Yeah, you lot don't allow yourselves to express yourselves or to even be vulnerable so yeah. i know there's a lot of guys looking at rasby thinking oh you're moist or like yeah, exactly. they're not do you know what i mean they're yeah. not supporting him or yeah. putting an arm around him saying brother like you need support and whatnot yeah. they're seeing it as like do you get what i'm trying to say no so, I, I totally get it and, as, that, and that's that's the problem yeah that's one of the problems that if this was a woman not only would men rally for her mm-hmm. women, women will also would, rally yeah. for her and everyone will be on her side yeah if it's a man Women would rally, but the women wouldn't take it as serious. I'm not saying all women, but it feels like... And I'm not trying to play sides against each other. This is not that, mm. you know what I'm trying to say. But I just, I just, I just mean, I don't feel like um, the sympathy is as strong. I'm not saying it even has to be. Mm. Let's make it clear. But I'm just saying it isn't as strong for men as it is for women. Mm-hmm. And it's like men wouldn't even rally for someone in this position because... Mm. This is this. I don't know. I don't know what word to use to describe it, but it's not. It's not deemed masculine. Yeah, because it's not a masculine issue. It's like you know what I mean, like how are we gonna look rallying for a man who's saying that he got molested by another man? Like you know what I mean? It's just, it's just a part of this. It's a part of this toxic masculinity 100%. and all that stuff in it. So hundred percent. It's sad because I don't see other men in the industry, like for example, people who you might look to for support, like mm. a, maybe a Charlemagne or someone who's someone who's vocal and speaks up about issues. Yeah. Even like, a, I don't know, a, Jay Jay-Z, a Jay-Z. A Joe, no, Joe Biden, Joe Biden does throughout the years. Joe Biden does, but Joe Biden doesn't do it. He's not like, pe- these people are not proactive. They're not mm. like trying to get Chris Jones on the phone. You know what I mean? Trying to bring him to justice, but they'll talk on it. But they wouldn't even do that. But if it was a woman, I'm sure it would be different. Mm. And... I'm all for treating women, you know, um, with great esteem. I'm not even, I'm not even against that at all. To be fair, so that's that's even a part of the problem. <laughs> that's a part of the problem. As a man, I see no issue with treating women better than men. But should it be that way? It shouldn't. But it's hard, isn't it? You know what it is. I think that also comes from a place of, um, like as a woman. I feel like women should be treated better than men to a degree based on the bullshit we've had to deal with. Can you pass me your investment in, please? Do you know what you're doing? It's a different camera than mine. So press the... Press the thingy button. Like the camera button. The record button. There's like a red button. Like a little red dot. Okay, hold on. Brent can't really leave like this, though. Oh, it doesn't flip. It's not speaking. Oh, it's different. Sorry about this, guys. Brent has basically left us alone, and the camera that's recording for YouTube it records for only thirty minutes at a time, so we have to keep like checking it to make sure that it's recording. If it's not recording, we've got to press recording it. So that's why. There was a little interruption there. But um, 
So what were you saying? Yeah, so you talking about um, you thinking that women should get treated better than men. Yeah. Then I was saying, do you know what? I think that comes from a place of like, women have gone through a lot of like, yeah, yeah. It over the years. Yeah. Especially at the expense of men. Yeah. So that probably comes into play. Yeah, it definitely stems from that. But at the same time, it doesn't help these type of situations where mm. you've got a man who no one seems to be taken seriously. No one seems to be helping him. And, excuse me, it's been going on for years now. Like, mm. it's been going on for years. And this was a woman, this would have been wrapped up a long time ago. Long, long time ago. So it's like... <sighs> but let me ask you a question, it's an issue yeah? that's, It's an issue that's hard to resolve. No, but let me ask you a question. Yeah. Has Rasby gone to the police, though? Because my thing is... I don't know with the internet. How... D- okay, so this is the thing, right? In yeah. terms of resolution yeah. or wrapping it up, yeah. how do we wrap it up? Because unless he takes them to court yeah. and goes down the legal yeah. like, chain, yeah. the back and forth on social media is not going to wrap anything up. Yeah, no, you know, I'm not talking it, about social no, media. No, 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 I know, but I'm just... Yeah. I'm just... You know how... The, like, basically, my thing is, also with the way he's gone about the situation, obviously, I don't know if he's tries to take them down the legal yeah, road. Yeah. But if he hasn't, why hasn't he? Because... Probably threats. Clearly, the way you're doing it isn't... No, but you're still talking about it, though. It's yeah. not like you haven't... Like, yeah, it's not like... I, I, I hear the whole threat side of things, but it's not like you're not talking about it or yeah. speaking about it publicly as well. So it's like... Like, wouldn't it, wouldn't it be better? Obviously, I don't know. I, I can't speak on his behalf, but yeah. I'm only saying that if it was me and um, years have gone down the line and they're still not kind of taking any ownership, yeah, I'd go down the legal route. But I would have gone down the legal route in the beginning. Yeah. Like, most, like for example, we even gave examples of, like, R. Kelly, yeah. Harvey Weinstein, Bill Cosby. They're, they're all in jail. Yeah. Because they went down the legal channels. So that's, that's also a thing, like... Do we really know if Rasby has even taken it to that point? So as much as we can say, like, oh, because he's a man, mm. but then we know that the women have gone through the legal channels. We don't know if this has gone through the legal channels or not. Yeah, I don't so, know what... Yeah, I don't know whether or not he's actually filed an official... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Complaint? Case? It's not, it's, it's, is it a complaint? Assault? I don't know if he's. I don't know if he's filed anything official with the police. Like he's mm. gone to police and he's actually made an official yeah. statement. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I'm assuming so, but maybe obviously whatever does he have? That's the thing. Isn't it? That's. I think that's a big. That's a big question there. And what evidence does he fair, have? Does he has? If does we refer, if have? we refer back to, um, what's this show called? What show? The Michaela Cole one that Who? we watched. Who? Michaela Cole. Oh, um... I'm not chewing gum. I May Destroy You. Right. Do you remember when Kwame... Yeah. Um, got raped? Yeah. Via, sorry. We said thingy before, innit? We said... Um, what? Trigger warning. Yeah, we said trigger warning. Yeah. Um, when Kwame got raped and he went to the police station. Yeah. And they were like... Remember, do you remember like they, they with his rape, they couldn't really do much about it because, well, I guess for I his situation, it was because he had consent. Because he had consensual sex before. Yeah. So they were like, I think it was, was it a case of looking for uh, semen residue or whatever, whatever, something like that? Oh, was that, is that what it is? I can't remember. Was, was it like a DNA thing? To be honest, I can't I don't remember. Know. But I do know I that remember. they made, there was like a stigma. That came with him reporting it, or that again, I think they had also, also, also had kind of like a nonchalant like attitude towards yeah. it and not taking it serious, yeah. which is why he didn't want to report it in yeah. the first place. Well, this is just me doing uh, guesstimations. I think what Rasby's issue is, is one, he probably has a lack of actual evidence. Like he hasn't got any witness accounts, probably hasn't got any. Pictures, videos. Oh, All yeah. he has is his word. Mm. I reckon that's probably his main issue. Like, what evidence do you have? Okay, cool. You're telling us this happened. Can anyone cooperate but the story? But there's not enough to build up a case. Because it's just him. And I think his brother, uh, Ricky Romance. Mm. So I think that's probably the main issue, isn't it? Like, he has no evidence. But with R. Kelly, there's obviously the sex tape. There's obviously uh, numerous victims who are coming out yeah. and speaking against R. Kelly. I'm pretty sure if there was more than just Raz B speaking out, 
then police might take it more seriously and will pick up the case. So, for example, obviously he's saying that the other members were and are aware of what happened. If Raz, sorry, Raz B, if J Boog, Omari, and Little Fizz start speaking out about it, I'm sure now they'll start digging. But J Boog's related to Marcus Easton, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah his cousin. He is. So, so um, it's all political, mate. And then I think the second thing is it's more like a character thing. People don't take Rasby seriously as a, as a character because of how he initially came out with the story. It was a lot of like frantic online videos. Remember, he made the allegations and he retracted it because apparently he was getting threatened and um, he had people off camera who were telling him what to say. There was that. It hasn't been handled in the best way. It's been kind of messy. Mm. Very, very online-ish kind of stuff, in it? And that's... And obviously you mentioned before all the B2K, um, I'm going to say beef, but the, the whole fallout as well. Mm. So I reckon that's his two main issues. Lack of evidence and people not taking his character seriously. Mm. I reckon that's been his biggest downfall. But I said to say this, the way people have energy for everyone else who claims they've been sexually ab- abused have the same energy for Rasby. I just done it. Bren, we've got up like four or five times just to let you know. Just to check. By the way, <laughs> Brent, do you have tea? Um, yeah. Okay. It's all right. Have you fixed your kettle? Hmm? Brent's changed. Oh, you bro. lied? Yes. You lied to me. Oh. Someone brought your kettle. It's random. It was in the house, but it wasn't. It was in the kitchen, so he couldn't be bothered to go to the bathroom to get it. Huh? Oh, okay. Someone took the kettle from the kitchen, and he just didn't remember. He he couldn't bother to ask around. No, no. If it's no, what are you saying? You saying that someone took the kettle? You didn't know where it, where it was. Yeah. And he. But he told me it was broken. Yeah, because he. He didn't want to have to tell you because you would say, okay, can you go look for it? Please? No, I wouldn't have. And he wouldn't be like, no, I can't. No, I wouldn't have done that. <sighs> what he's basically, what he's telling you is, leave me alone. Yeah. I'm sick and tired of you asking for tea every time you're here. There's Starbucks, there's Pret, bring tea from your house or something. That's what he's basically saying. Leave leave me alone. Okay. Yeah. Brent, am I lying? Brent, sp- <laughs> what do you say? What do you say? <laughs> oh, he's lying. I ain't lying, fool. All right, cool. Anyway, yeah, that's that's my thing, isn't it? Just, I think it's I think it's time that obviously we the people can't help, but I'm just saying it's like mm. moral support where you can, isn't it? Like, mm. Industry people, like you know what I mean. I know. Around, isn't it? Uh, cool. Uh, inauguration just happened. People yeah. are really excited, excited about the outfits elated. more than anything else. They're saying that Michelle Obama's slaying. Come on. Um, she's saying that. What's what's the term you guys like to say? Not snatched. No, not snatched. Um, oh, she's serving. <laughs> You're annoying, man. Serving. People, it's very earnest. People are like... She's serving looks. Yo, Michelle is serving looks. Yeah. I'm thinking, you girls are your terms. Mm-hmm. So yeah, she's wearing this like burgundy serving joint. Serving it on a platter. Um, so yeah, Trump is gone. Officially. And, and Biden has been officially been uh, brought in. Mm-hmm. Um, sworn in. Sworn in. A uh, resident uh, political um, broadcaster. He's busy right now. So he, Brent Biden. He been busy. So Brent Biden can't give us the update, but I'm sure you guys are watching it uh, or have watched it. Uh, it's happening today. Uh, what, what, what what you got? What is there to talk about on this fine Wednesday evening? Um, because my ducky about done. Wait a minute. My ducky about done, man. Wait a minute. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, also, we need to start planning our clubhouses. Yeah, we ain't been on for about two weeks. About three weeks. Two. Oh, two weeks. It's on the night. Hold on, sorry. What else is happening in the universe? No, I'm just loading up my thingy. Come on, can't you look at me? Oh, also, um, you got something that I want. um, Hillary singles mm-hmm. coming out today. Oh, is it? Yeah. Shout out Hillary. Shout out Hillary. Hillary turned into a rapper. 
Um, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna call him on the air actually. We're gonna, we're gonna talk about his career. I'm done. <laughs> but quickly, shout out Jamal, Just, one of our listeners who I was proper having a good old chin mag today with about Vikings. I'm not gonna talk about Vikings. Oh, yeah, shout out to Jamal as well, actually. Jamal sent me a video. Of him talking about Vikings. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. Today we were proper like. Yeah. No, he's he's far though. He's far, he's like season, season four. four. Yeah. Shout out to Jamal. So me and him couldn't really talk because he's way ahead of me. Um, right. So I saw this on the gram and I thought it'd be good to talk about it. Um. It says, "She pushed my baby out, so I pushed my ass to Lennox." Um, and he obviously went and bought her loads of designer stuff. So, like, what, you've got um, Fendi bags. What, push, push present. Yeah, LV, um, MCM. Like, just, just bare designer bags in, like, the hospital room. Mm. Then it says, comes to find out this might not even be my kid. Well, damn. Yeah. What would you do? They're going to go, Popeyes, when are you going to get her? Um, if I, when did I find out? Oh, when did you find out? Oh, it was a joke. <laughs> no, because the last slide says, man went viral for buying his wife hella designer gifts as push presents, find out the baby isn't his. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. And he's dumb because he actually put it on his story. Yeah. Then at the end, he said, it's my baby, idiots. So, so I didn't see that last slide. So where, where did the lie come from? So he basically was lying about the baby not being his, like him finding out that it might not be his. Okay. But anyway, another thought, right? So it's a picture of um, Cardi B. Okay. And then it says, I don't even like this debate anymore because some women are being brainwashed by the media that certain things are acceptable to put out in public and force ourselves to accept. I can sexualize myself online if I want. I can monetize my assets if I want. Listen, the fact of the matter is women can do whatever they want, but don't be surprised when you're not shown the same respect as the women who don't. Men will deep down never like that for the long term as they will always see us as a reflection of their potential future daughters. Men want a woman who is sacred. Some of you ladies don't want to have that conversation. Thoughts? Um, was you listening? Yeah, I was listening. The key statement is that men want a woman who is sacred, mm -hmm. which I agree with. Mm. If, you, if you gave a man a choice, let's use, you know, this day and age as an example, just so we can put it into like a realistic context. Mm-hmm. If a man had a choice out of uh, a woman who, you know, um, sexualized herself online, i.e. posted revealing pictures, mm -hmm. revealing videos, and had, you know, that type of image, as opposed to a woman who was always covered up, very PG type of content. Yeah. Let's just say both women um, had... Very similar profiles in terms of their 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 look. Yeah, like he found them both attractive. Mm -hmm. Let's just say they both ticked the same boxes in terms of his criteria, characteristics, or whatever. Yeah, I'm assuming that the man would choose the woman who's more so PG online and less sexualized than the woman who's overtly sexualized online. Okay, even though they share similar profiles, mm -hmm. because I think. In general, a man doesn't want a woman who is too out there sexually. Mm -hmm. Like, i.e., numerous men have seen you naked or half naked or seen your assets or have had access to you in certain ways mm -hmm. and, you know, just have seen you in a certain light. Mm -hmm. I think as a man, you, you want to be... Obviously, um, besides her previous partners, which obviously is a given... You don't want um, other men to see a woman in a sexual way. Yeah. You want to hold that hold that for yourself, in it? So mm -hmm. that's one thing. Um, so, yeah, I definitely agree with the statement. I think it's probably true in most cases that men would prefer a woman who's... What What, what was the frame? What's the frame, sorry. The phrase they use at the end? Um, what the hell is my other phone, man? Mm. Sorry, my internet's really slow. It is... Where's it gone? They want... What? Where's it gone? Malfunctions. 
Um, yeah, it says they want a woman who is sacred. That's it. Sorry, yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. Sacred. Um, yeah. So I'm, yeah, I'm under the notion that most men want a woman who's more sacred. And that, I guess I don't know. All men. I think that's is that a stretch to say all men would prefer a woman who's more sacred. I mean, it depends, isn't it? Because I feel like some men don't mind. Yeah, some men don't mind, but give that same man a choice. Okay. He would, in my opinion, and I may be wrong, sway towards the sacred. True. Like, because why wouldn't you want to have, especially, like I just said, the two choices, they're mm. basically the same. Fair enough. So you're saying that, you know, like, guys, like the girls that they kind of entertain and whatnot, it's just for fun. What's that? You know what I mean? Like, because we can't deny that... I'm not, I'm not, hold on, before you continue, I'm not saying that a man wouldn't and can't wifey a girl who isn't as sacred online. I'm not saying that. Mm. I'm saying given the choice. Okay. You know I mean, given Fair the choice, I'm, I'm assuming that a man would prefer to choose a woman who's more sacred. But yeah, no, a woman who isn't, who does show her body online, those women still have boyfriends. Yeah. They're, they're still married. They still get wifey. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, because I can use myself as an example. I used to uh, show my body online all the time. Yeah. Does that make me less of a viable candidate? In my opinion, no. Mm. So I'm not saying that these women who show their bodies are less viable candidates. Mm. They're top candidates as well. Mm -hmm. But from the outside looking in, mm -hmm. what would a man choose if he was given the choice? Yeah. The woman who's showing her body all the time or the woman who's not, I think he'll probably choose the woman who's not showing her body. Yeah. And that might go for men as well. Mm. I mean, a woman may not want a man who's always topless on Instagram, always showing his body. And I mean, yeah, fair that may not be appealing uh to them in it so sorry what were you gonna say no i agree but i was gonna say so like obviously a lot of guys also um a lot of guys also like entertain and kind of also entertain the women that are like yeah, yeah. do you know what i mean yeah. so is it a case of oh that's just for fun but when it comes to being serious we're gonna only settle down with like do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, because, no, that because when people are doing <coughs> the, the bus it challenge and popping that thing for the gram, yeah, I don't see any man objecting to it or saying no. Because the bus challenge is kind of no, I know, I it. know, but I mean, if it was a worse off challenge, like yeah, um, it's just an example. I'm not saying no, 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 no. I get what you mean. Um, totally okay. To answer your question, if a man talks to a woman who shows her body on the gram or just you know in public in general. Mm -hmm. Is he only after one thing with her? Not necessarily. Mm. Because like I said before, just because... Um, also, you have to remember, in what context are you showing your body? Yeah, fair enough. Are you showing your body because you're a fitness model? Mm. Is it because you're uh, a glamour model? Is it because, um, I don't know, you do OnlyFans and you, you are, you're actually selling sexual content? So yeah. it depends on one... Uh, your motive and actually why you are the way you are. Um, because I can see a girl on the gram who, I remember, it may not be 100%. She may she may have like 60, 40, maybe 60% scantily dressed and then the rest is like, you know what I mean? She's showing both sides. So it could be that as well. If it's 100%, if, if I go to a girl's page and it's 100% scantily dressed, if I'm being honest, I'm not looking and thinking, yeah, this is wife material. I'll be honest, I'm not. Mm. I'm not, I'll be honest with you. Again, it depends on why she's doing it. But at first glance, I'm not thinking, yeah, wifey. Seeing a girl who's just half naked on the ground. That's, mm. I mean, that's not really. And I'm sure that might go the same for women as well. You go to a guy's page and it's just like, topless here, topless there. You're not thinking, yeah, that's that's that's, 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 that's my odds balance. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so I think there's, there's definitely a certain level of sacredness. Mm and the discreetness that comes with, you know, wanting a partner. You don't want a partner who necessarily is just, all the assets are just out there. But yeah, no. again, it doesn't, um, just because you, you are that way inclined doesn't mean you're not a viable candidate. So I just want to make sure that that's something that I stress. It doesn't mean you're not a viable candidate. It just means that to the outside world, people might look at you in a certain way. Because obviously people have um, perceptions of people like that. Like people have perceptions of me, because I used to always be on top of online, uh, you're a fuck boy, you're a fuck, you're a player. But you know what the thing is, though, yeah? 
The reason why I don't really understand that thing with you though is because you're a PT. So yeah, but people. Look, no, yeah, but remember, PTs have a negative stigma. Though, I know, but there's maybe it's because I'm in the industry and yeah. I'm not looking at it from a yeah. a normal person's point of view because yeah. most of the men I follow who do fitness train topless, especially in America. I don't think I've ever seen them wear clothes, but I don't look at them and think, "Oh, you thought." I just see it as like you're in good shape, and obviously yeah. your your business, your brand is you. So yeah. you're selling your like. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even like with women in fitness, like obviously I feel like with women sometimes it does go past, it can be a bit porn- pornographic or like yeah. obviously with some pages. But I mean like I never look at women in like crop tops and shorts or that kind of stuff and think, oh, ill. Yeah. Or like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think, I don't know, like for example, yeah, with man them, and a lot of the time I think it's just projection. Like, if I post a picture, uh, topless, or I post a picture that I may look good in, yeah, the man that we're going to, all the time, it's always scared. Yeah, but I, you know, to be honest with you, it also comes a place of, it also comes projection. a Of course. You're projecting yourself onto me because... Of course. This, okay, for example. And, I, it's, I, and, and you know what it is also, yeah? It's hating because... Yeah, definitely hating. It's hating because... They probably wish they had that physique yeah. and were in a position to flaunt it off. Yeah. So it definitely comes from a place of like, ah, oh, show off. These times you're not showing off yeah. because yeah. Like you work hard for it. I would genuinely post a picture. Like back back when I used to post pictures like that, innit? Like 2015 days, innit? I'll post a picture of me topless, just showing my physique, showing my assets, showing, you know, market myself as market my market and my physique, innit? Yeah. And- for scat, slag. Yeah. And they think I'm doing it for girls. I'm not doing it for girls, bro. Stop projecting what you would do yeah. onto me. It's mm. making me sick. Mm-hmm. And it's the same guy. And it's like, you can't... Obviously, it's just a playful banner, but... Of course, it's, There's yeah, always seriousness it's, behind it. Of course, because you know I mean? ultimately... And I think that seriousness comes from a place of hating. And, okay, here's a perfect example, yeah. So there's certain guys, certain guy friends I have, yeah. They wouldn't post my picture on their story because... because they don't want, or they won't tag you because they don't want because, people to... Because they don't want, it's very immature. They don't want girls that follow them to self- or that may like them yeah. to now like me. Yeah, of course. And that's what I'm <laughs> saying. It's pathetic. To the point where when I was doing my, when I was promoting myself as a PT, but I was using my body as my main, mm. um, you know, tool, mm. I would, I had like marketing, the, the marketing picture I took in it. I will have friends who wouldn't repost those pictures, yeah. even though, I'm doing it from a place of business. Yeah. I'm not trying to get girls. I ain't yeah. trying to get your girl to like me. I ain't trying to steal nobody's girl. I'm trying to get money, trying to get business. They wouldn't post it because now I have a positive picture of you. These girls who I'm no. on or I like may now jump on his his back. It's like, yeah. oh, come on, knock it off, bro. Because they don't believe in it. They know their source is not that strong then. It's a confidence thing because honestly... No, some of these niggas have source. No, but you're co- no, but then source and confidence is two different things. So yeah. I'm saying, if you're confident enough in yourself... It shouldn't matter if those girls even when and if those girls yeah. even when they started chatting to you. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I can get more. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So yeah. it's a lack of confidence. It's just little things I notice, isn't it? About the man, about this guy. The man them. The man yeah. them. Is it, the, they, they do little, little. Yeah, yeah, of course. Little things. Like, it's a yeah. bit. That's, 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 that's a bit off. Yeah. But it is, it is what it is. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, but you know. What was it the original question? I'd be on. I respect that though because you don't care, right? That, like, if that was me, yeah, and those are my female friends, and that's how they move, yeah, we wouldn't be friends anymore. No, I don't care because I'd see it as raw. You're that insecure that you actually don't even want me to secure the bag because you think men them are gonna. You know, no, but I'm saying no, you know how girls yeah, are. Yeah, I, hate like, you. I couldn't, I couldn't generally vibe or be yeah. around people like that. Still, you know what it is. A lot of the things that the men them say to each other, everyone just takes it as banner, and it's like. And it's almost like backhanded compliments. Like you're complimenting me, but you're doing it in a backhand way. And like, for example, if you go on holiday, like it used to be our oh, use, I ain't taking any pics of you. Like, don't, if you're taking pictures, don't get a pic of me. Mm. They're saying that as a joke, mm. but they, <laughs> they actually mean it a little bit, innit? Exactly. I ain't taking a picture of you, I ain't gonna post you, da 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 da. Um, or it's like, ah, oh. like even, even um, when we're going to Dubai. Everyone does a group we made and what's up in it. It's like, ah, oh, yo, calm down, on the, calm down on the gym, man. Like, relax in it. Like, calm down on the gym. Like, let's all go out there on the level playing. 
Or if someone if someone was like, yeah, I'm gonna go hard, I'm gonna, you know, get ripped or whatever. So oh relax, man. Like like, like you, give us a chance. Give us a, you know what I mean? Like yeah. but well, let me do me in it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not, you know what I mean, ain't that deep. But again, it's it's still a form of banter, it's still a compliment. They're, they're telling you, yeah, I rate I rate you, mm. but be easy, innit? Because don't don't show us up, innit? That's kinda so it's toxic, isn't it? It's Very. toxic. It's toxic. But... That's why I say it's so toxic. But this is the difference, right? I feel like men can, I guess you guys can kind of navigate in that space. Mm. With women, we're a lot more emotional. We're a lot more, we take things more to heart. Do you get yeah, what I yeah. mean? So I'm being honest, I can't navigate in that space. Is it? Yeah, no, men's band and, and women's band is very different. Yeah, exactly. And still, I can't. Because girls, because the girls say to you, Gina, I'm not taking any pics of you. I'd be like, okay. But you, but you would take it seriously. You take it to heart. Not, not you no, necessarily, it's, no, but, but girls it, it will take it seriously. No, but it depends on like if it's like a running joke or if they legitly don't take pictures of me. I'd be like, rah, like you're then I can't be around you then. Yeah. Because I don't get how you're you're not secure because for me then it means that you're not securing yourself. Yeah. And secretly your insecurity makes you feel some type of way towards me. Yeah. So you're not always going to be happy for me or you're not... Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, there's always going to be this, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. level of hate. And remember, yeah, I can't be around that energy. Yeah. So Dude, I wouldn't I wouldn't vibe like that. The banner will still... The banner will say it, but they'll still take pictures of you. You know what I mean? Like, no, but that's what I'm saying, you know what I mean? like... But it's just like... Them saying it is just letting you know, isn't it? Like, like relax. Mm. We don't need you to be looking like uh, He-Man out there while we're looking at, you know what I mean? Pepe Le, Le Pew. Pepe Le Pew. But luckily, everyone I kind of roll with-ish works out anyway, so... It's not like, you know what I mean? And I don't, I don't know. I'm not even in that type of shape anyway as I used to be, but still, man's, man's planning to get back there. Um, but it's funny, man them, man them dynamics is very, it's hilarious too. Yeah, it's different. It's very different. No, because you lot have really harsh banter. Oh, the banter's harsh still. No, it, I've, it, I've it very, seen. It varies from group to group though. Some, some, no, but group, some, some groups is light, some yeah, groups is heavy. Some groups, I know, like anyone can get it and the level of getting it is like real. Whereas, and, it's, and it's been this way for years. Colleges were like this. Yeah. Second school like this. It's always been like that with men. Them. The band is just strong. You can't handle the heat. Mm. You know what I mean? You know how many like, arguments I've had in college and like almost fights because band has just gone too far. Mm. You know what I mean? This is, but it's just, we just got to get on with it, innit? I hear that. It's, it's got to laugh. Yeah. And obviously give it back, innit? Give it back. Don't 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 just be a, um, a sponge yeah. and just be spare soaking up the banner. No, of course. <laughs> End up being a piñata. Um, no, for real. Where's my phone, bro? When you get up or when we leave, you'll find I it. I can't find it, bro. But it's my phone that I need. Um, all right. What else, is, what else is there to talk about? What else is happening in the world? I don't really think much has gone on, to be fair. Um, yeah, we're still in lockdown, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Um... I know, no, it is. It's like it's very um, uninspired times, mm. kind of thing. It like we said in the last episode, nothing's really happening in the world besides, besides, well, besides um, lockdown. Obviously, inauguration is a big thing. Um, that's about it. Nothing's. I mean, nothing's really happening. Mm. Happening. Mm. <laughs> it's just. You know I mean, um, question though. Um, vaccine. Are you rolling? Um, no. Why? I said it, I said it because I said I said it to say this. One, I've not done my I have not done enough research to know if I'm gonna to even have this conversation. To be honest with you, but just me being me yeah. and being the person that I am without even doing my research, yeah. I'm that kind of person where I'm not gonna do it unless my back's against the wall and there's no other option. Do you understand what I mean? Because one. I don't think it's been around long enough yeah. to even see the side effects. Yeah. So, like, like you know when you're born, you get, like, as a baby, you get injections and stuff like that. Yeah. But these things have been happening for so many years, even stuff like polio. Like, you know what I mean? All yeah. these injections that we're meant to have, they've been around for so long that I feel like we would know or see the side effects by now. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. This This vaccine hasn't been around long enough for them to fully know what the side effects are, I'm not trying to get infertile. Like, obviously, it's all speculation, but yeah. they're all things that... Yeah, I've, is that one of the... I've heard people, like, again, it's conspiracies, in it? But I wouldn't be... Comp- I wouldn't be, like... I wouldn't be... I wouldn't write it off completely. Do you understand what I mean? Again, it's not something that's been around long enough. Like, yeah. even when they're testing in labs, you're telling yeah. me you've been testing, but who's to say that 
these side effects are not long term. Do you get what I mean? You know what you mean? No, it is. I saw something on Half Cost Podcast that I think is very true. It's something that Chucky said. He said there's going to be a time when everyone's going to be, you know, the world's going to be back to normal. And we're going to be like, yo, remember when I said, remember when you said you wasn't going to take the vaccine? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you remember? <laughs> I personally think that's going to be the case. No, but that's why I said, everyone's like, if, just capping, bro. If, no, so if they said that you can't travel and leave the country, which they probably will. Yeah, when it gets to that, we'll have the conversation because I'm not going to lie. Being stuck in this country for almost a year. So my last holiday was in February mm. last year. It's coming up to a year. Yeah. You're telling me that I have to keep that. And this is going to be my way of living continually. Like, I couldn't do it. Yeah. So I know that when it gets to those kind of conversations, yeah. I'll be, that's when I'm going to do my research and actually take it in. But for now, because I don't see it as something that I'm looking to do anytime soon. I'm not even thinking about it. But to be fair, you're not um, high on the list of priorities. No, my, so dad's had, my dad's had his. And what's, what's he saying? He wasn't opposed to it. No, he's old as no, well, I but mean, he's fine. No, I mean side effects. He's cool. Exactly. He ain't got any, any issues with it. And because, obviously he's old, isn't it? So he's like... Because I think everyone's forgetting this, yeah. One, people are getting sucked into conspiracies and what random people are putting on the internet and everyone else is running with. Mm. Like, there's no validity, validity to any of these claims. Mm -hmm. Obviously... Any form of vaccine or medication can cause side effects. Of course. Paracetamol can cause a side effect. So, of course, there are side effects, potential side effects anyway. And obviously, side effects vary from person to person. Mm -hmm. So, that's obvious. What's new? <laughs> but people acting like the side effects from this are like astronomical and just very different from, oh, you're going to grow a leg. Like, no, no I think, I'm not I don't, grow a leg. You know what it is? Even stuff like contraception. I've never taken contraception. Mm. I've never taken the coil. I've never, do you know what I mean? And I've had issues with my period. Where do you have it? No, but I've had issues with my period okay. since I was a teenager. Yeah. And they always told me that those were the solutions to my problems. Mm. But I've always gone against it. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. I'm not a person who, I don't like taking medication. Yeah. Just, just, that's just me. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Yes, there is conspiracies and all that stuff being said and whatnot. Um, but like I said, I'm not thinking about taking the vaccine anytime soon. So I'm not even, it's not even, it's not even a thought in my mind, like, at all. Like, I'm just, yeah. Yeah, no, no. I hear that. I hear that. Um, sorry, I just found another Hall of Fame that I didn't read. Uh, this don't even look like oatmeal to me. Looks like quinoa. Quinoa. Yeah. K E E N O A. Some people spell it K E E N Y. Quinoa. quinoa. Um, Some so people pronounce it quinoa. Quinoa. I missed that one still. Mm. Um, but you know, I just think Chuck is right, though. It's going to be a time when we're going to be chilling. Yo, think, bro, remember when we were telling us each other that we weren't going to take the vaccine? I don't even think it's that. I think it's going to be because a yo. Do you remember when we were on lockdown? Like, yeah, no, that's going to be, that's always going to be the case, but I reckon. Because obviously everyone's saying I'm not taking the vaccine. There's going to be a time when we're like, I don't no. think everyone's saying it though. There's people I know that are young that have taken it. Okay. Well, so a lot of people that like, I've spoken I've, to. And one of my clients, she's a nurse and she's taken it and she's not opposed to it either. Like, she, I don't think I'm opposed to it, to be honest with you. But I'm not high on the priority list to take it anyway. So I'm not yeah, going to Yeah. And honestly, because I don't want to, I don't, I don't talk about it because I haven't got the energy to get into back and forth with people. Mm. Or to even like um, have conversations. You know what I mean? That like some people are so passionate about, oh, you're blind, you're a sheep, you're not doing your research, you're following the man because you're wearing masks and all this stuff. So it's just like, ah, I don't have the energy for these kind of conversations, to be honest with you. Yeah, no, people who, people who still believe that this is all some type of conspiracy and scheme and people need to remember yeah when oh but i definitely do believe that it's the virus is definitely man-made i'm there's no way i'm like no no that's that that is what i'm saying i'm saying within any situation there's opportunists so when this outbreak happens of course there's people who have now turned this into an advantage for them so along the way, obviously the virus is real. 
man made or not, it's real. Mm. Man made, if it's man made, it's still real. So mm. along the way, the government, politicians, powers that be have made certain moves to put themselves in greater positions. Of course. Which is obvious. Prime example, yeah. So from Monday at the detriment to the, the common public. Man, to the public. So from Monday, they announced that they were officially closing the corridor, right? And that now the what? The corridor. What's so that? there were certain countries that you were able to go to yeah. where when you come back you don't have to isolate. Okay, okay. And then remember, there was no requirement to be tested upon arrival into the UK. And yeah. remember, our borders have always been open yeah. since this pandemic started. Yeah. But as of Monday, they've closed the corridors. So now, no matter what country you come from, you have to self-isolate. Yeah. But obviously, the, dep- the days depend on the country. Yeah. And now, you have to get tested for COVID when you land in the UK. Yeah. So it's taken the government 11 months to test people arriving into the UK. Yeah. Obviously, it's a financial thing. Yeah. Do you understand what I mean? But it, it made no sense to me because I thought, wait, why is it taking you 11 months to make the decision to, te- to test people when they arrive into the UK? Because most countries, it's a... To get to Dubai, when you land in Dubai, you have to be tested. When you get to Accra, you have to be tested. When you get to Nigeria, you have to be tested. Yeah. So, you, Western man, like, if these third world countries yeah. are putting these things in place, let, why not? Do you know what I mean? It's just, yeah. it makes no sense. And then you want to wonder why we have one of the biggest cases in the world. Like, it's, do you know what I mean? So, yeah. it's clearly been... Um, in my opinion, it's clearly been avoided yeah. or like ignored yeah. um, for fi- for financial reasons. Like, there's no other, no other. I can't understand how that is something that you would literally leave and be negligent, neg- and Negligence. neglect. Yeah, yeah, whatever the word is. Yeah, it makes absolutely no sense. No, no, I hear what you're saying, but yeah, we're just playing a waiting game. To be fair, mm-hmm. uh, we just gotta get on with things and just. Hope and pray for the best, but yeah, people are people are um, dampening my hopes. So they're like, nah, it's not gonna be March. You, it's not gonna be March. You don't think so? No, people are telling me this. Not it's not gonna be March. Even if it's not, I will not be here. So boy. But yeah, I'm thinking I'm taking a trip. You know, bro, come with me. Yeah, I might. Well, someone, someone's uh, give me an idea to go somewhere, so I might go there. Where are you gonna go? Gonna say off air. Okay. I'll be a secret trip in that. Okay. Um, but no, I wanted to go Ghana with all of you lot, but so are you still gonna go in December? I might, but there's a lot of us going in March anyway. Who? Crystal's gonna be there. Yeah. Dana's still gonna be there. I'm going. Dana is basically also. living there. She's now. there till April. Okay. My whole family's got well, not whole family, but me, yeah. my mom, my sis, yeah. my cousins, Leslie, Madeline, Maddie's going. Yeah. Um, Christopher's going. It's Easter, isn't it? So Easter's also. Oh, there you go again. Yeah. It's yeah, because Easter's also like a... Another lit time in Ghana. Yeah, but it's not as... Where's Crystal? Is she here or still in Ghana? Still, still there. Okay. It's oh, she's she staying? No, she's coming back in Feb but then going back in March. Okay. Yeah, Crystal ain't playing no game. Crystal's been there for... Since December, isn't it? Yeah. She ain't playing no... But the thing is, there's nothing to come back to. This is it. So I don't blame anyone. No. Like, there's nothing to do here. So if you're away, on, if you're away, if you're out of the country and you can work remotely or you can work from home, you might as well just stay there. Hence why I'm they, going. There ain't nothing happening here, baby. Yeah. <laughs> there ain't nothing happening here at all. And we don't know when we're going to get out of like, it. Like, Landmate came back this week. I yeah. thought, why did you come back? Yeah. He's like, do you not ask me again, please? I said, I don't know why you did because you knew what you were coming back to. So I don't know what you thought was going to be different. Yeah. Because coming back is the biggest anticlimax ever. Yeah. You're literally coming back to shit weather and having to stay in your house. Yeah. But obviously, I also understand and appreciate that not everyone has the luxury of staying somewhere for free, innit? So, it's oh, also, yeah, no, no. It's also no, a cost. It's money. No, yeah. Not, cool, yeah. It's definitely, it's definitely money. So, if you have the money to do it, then fair enough. Mm. If you don't, then you don't, it. So, if you have the money, I mean, that's that's kind of what I say. If you, if you have the money mm. and you can afford to, then go ahead. If you can't, then don't worry, man. I'm in the same boat. I'm here. Mm. I'm here with you. I could go, to be fair, but... I just, I just don't feel any urgency, to be fair. But um, I feel the urgency. I just can't go for that long. Like, I, as in now to normally leave. No, but you're, you're, you're going for a month. I know, 
But ideally, I would want to go now. Like, I don't... Mm. Like, the fact that I have to wait till March is even frustrating me. Okay, yeah. But I don't know if I could survive any longer. If I went away, though, I wouldn't go for a month. I'll go away for, like, maybe two weeks. Two weeks, ten days. No, I want a proper, like... Get out. Yeah. Yeah, no, I hear that. And chill. I hear that. And work. But listen, boy, if I'm out and you're out, we've got to have a good pod. Remotely, <laughs> innit? Like we said. <laughs> Zoom. Do the, pod, do the pod via Zoom. Yeah. Say nothing, say nothing, say nothing. All right, cool. Let's do the songs of the week. Um, Unless you've got any other pressing business. Not that I can think of. Let's song of the week up. Um, let me do the listen song of the week first. Um, boom, 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 boom. I'll just queue it up. It's probably for all the pauses this week. Where does she go? Uh, what's the song called? Jesus Christ. Ela. You know what? Let me play my song first and I'll find the song of the week. So my song is... This is a Bow Wow song that I really enjoy. Um, it's called Like This featuring um, a singer called... What song is this? It's from... So it's, it's not Like You. It's Like This. No, I know. <laughs> so it's featured... Um, you know John T. Austin? And Dondria. Mm-hmm. It's from his album New Jack City 2. Oh, 